Family, family, family. Good day, good day, good day. Good day. Bring it on in, people. Bring it on in. Yo, 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 family. My family, my family. We got some stuff we got to talk. What's going on? What's going on? Hop in the building before we get started. Hop in the building before we get started, y'all. Hop in, hop in, hop in. What's going on? What's going on? We about to get it cracked. We about to get it cracked. For all y'all that don't know who I am, I see a lot of new people up here. What's going on, Chelsea? I see a lot of new people up here. I'm Coach Brian. Coach Brian, get your find one of the best holistic practitioners out here, healing people, getting it done, trying to establish a little something, something for myself, you know, trying to get it, get the name going and get myself out there so I can help and heal more people. How y'all doing on this fine evening? How y'all doing? What well, is morning? How y'all doing on this morning? How y'all doing? I'm open to questions, anything. We're going to get talking in a little bit. Just waiting on a few more people to come in. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? So while we're waiting on some more people, I'm going to just tell you guys a little bit more. What's going on? While we're waiting on some more people, I'm just going to tell you all a little bit more about me. I'm from Southern Louisiana. You know, born and raised. I'm 27. Well, I'm going to be 27 in a few months. Almost 27 years old. Good day to you, too. I'm seeing you. What's going on, Miss Moody? Uh, I'm going on 27 years old. You know, I've been doing holistic. I've been practicing the holistic practices for well over five to seven years. It's been a long time coming. Um, I've helped people with HSV, herpes, cancer, AIDS, high di uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, hypoglycemia, arthritis, all that type of stuff. Oh, hey, good morning. I have some actual questions. I'm just introducing myself. You can ask your questions. I'm uh, I'm gonna get to them. And yeah, man, I'm just trying to spread it from Louisiana and get it uh, further across the world. You know, I'm noticing that there's, oh, BR in the building, I see you. There's a lot of people sick, man. There's a lot of people out here that's not, man, it's like, it's so many sick people to where we need as many holistic practitioners as we can get, as many people like really trying to heal people as we can get. And I'm just trying to be, just add to the numbers. I'm trying to be some of those people that's really out here just making it do what it do. A lot of people have given up hope on healing and healing themselves naturally and holistically and you know abandoning the western practices and stuff like that but i'm one of those people that firmly believe in standing behind your roots my genetics run all the way back in case y'all what's going on uh reiki reiki in the building my genetic my genetics work uh work as far back as sub-saharan i've traced it that far back and i'm from the sun people you know so a lot of my studies a lot of my practices a lot of my holistic beliefs stem from herbs from fruits from vegetables all the stuff like that you know i'm not i don't believe in the medicines i don't believe in all that other stuff I've helped my, my uh, grandfather with cancer. I've uh, reversed my grandmother's high blood pressure and uh, di uh, diabetes. I've helped my dad with his uh, his heart problems and his uh, he was overweight and his cholesterol and blood sugar. I've helped my mom with arthritis. You know, I've helped so many people do so many things and I just feel like it's time for me to take it the next to the next level from the, you know, this is my next step in life. I've been doing so much for the community. I've been doing so much for my area, you know, for the past five years. And I feel like I'm maturing past that and I've given everything I can possibly give to the city, you know, and it's up for them to grab the rest. I have it laid all out there, but, um, you know, just moving it forward and doing what I, and what I can do, but I'm gonna get to these questions. Why do I wear glasses? I wear glasses because, you know, I'm almost done wearing glasses. That's the crazy part. I was born with, um, I was born with like a, a very bad, um, astigmatism in my left eye and my eye was actually shaped like it was, it was a weird, weird shape. So for the past like eight years, well, five to eight years, I've been working on correcting it and reversing my, uh, my sight and things of that nature. So I've been taking a lot of eye bright, you know, been detoxifying my oculars as much as possible. And as I learned, just putting it on myself and yeah, so far so good. I mean, I'm, I'm actually almost done with my journey. You know, it's just that I wear them because, you know, I still have to see. I drive a lot. I have a lot of work. I have a lot of traveling work to do and stuff like that. And my eyesight, my eyesight is way better than what it was before. Like even the doctors, they ask me like, well, what are you doing to reverse it and things of that nature? And I tell them about my 10 day detox that, I, that I'm using, that I made, that I used on myself, that I made for you guys. And like the herbs and stuff like that, helping them with stuff like that too, so they can help a few more people. But um, other than that, yeah, my eyesight used to be trash, like real trash, like, like extremely nearsighted. But um, other than that, you know, just been working on it. it takes and it's different from person to person. You know, it's like I as bad as I would I would love for like prime example, Dr. Lyle Africa. 
like he's one of the um herbalists the master herbalists that i studied for my practitioner uh certifications and stuff like that and he died wearing glasses you know but he was working on because everybody's genetics is different you know we can detox and put everything together as much as we want to but it takes it takes a while you know it takes so it takes a long time to reverse stuff like that because you gotta remember we're attacking the endocrine system we're attacking the lymphatic system we're, atta we're attacking the nervous system it's not a microwave process you know it don't happen in five minutes but it's been a it's been a slow grind but it's been you know it's, it's having its ups and downs i've had some crazy detox symptoms to where like you know as it was reversing those static uh those static acids and stuff that that's been sitting on my nervous system in my eyes and stuff like that it had to pass you know so i've been in situations to where it's like i was having bad detox symptoms but once it passed out i got started getting better my eyes started reshaping like i've been through i've been through a lot you know, and I'm just taking my journey and what I've been learning and trying to give it back to y'all. But thank that's that was an amazing question. Thank you so much for asking that. Not a lot of people ask me about that. Um, let's see. My weight loss is so slow. I'm doing the one up challenge and I hit a slump. What's the one up challenge? I've never heard of that before. Wonderful. I need discipline. We all need discipline. Even the most talented people need need discipline. It's a couple of things need to be addressed starting with weight loss. Yeah, whatever you just let me know. Why people act like it take two weeks to reverse eyesight? It takes years. Keep at it, coach. I I know. I, and, and the old me, the old me would have been aggressive. The old me would have said something about it because I was a lot more sensitive about my stigmatism and stuff like that back then. But you know, you live and you learn. You go through it. It's it's life, man. We don't have we don't have time being mad at people for no reason. I'm not, I've been working on that. You know, some people are just ignorant. Some people are trolling. Some people genuinely care. You never know. But I'm just you know we're bigger than that. We're better than that. I'm gonna I'm gonna inform before you know. I sit there and belittle somebody. I'm sure if the weight gets in control, everything will change. What's the Miss Moody? Miss Miss Moody six one five. What's what's exact? What do you need? Like what what do you what are you asking me so I can give you some uh, some answers? Cause I see you talking about weight, and you said I'm sure if the weight gets in control, everything will change, and it probably will. But it depends on what the problem is. Charlie Banger hit the request. I got a question, bro. All right, let me let me let you in. Fair, and that's nothing to y'all. I I do accept live requests, but I'm letting y'all right now. I'm not with the foolishness. So if I feel as though you're trolling, you get disrespectful, you get belligerent, you start talking about things that belittle women, men, race, and all that type of stuff, it's no explanation. You are blocked. You are taken off my life. I'm a very friendly person, but I'm not with the BS. So I'm about to let you in on all And this is not just to say that you're that type of person. But I'm just letting it be known for the 70 plus people that's up in here. Um, before we get things really rolling, like just be respectful, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm letting y'all know what I know. From where I know it, I'm open to also learn new things, and I'm and I'm also open to help and heal other people. But we're not with the belittling, we're not with the the craziness, we're not with the trolling, all of that. I don't have patience and time for that. All right, let's see. This is connecting. Peace, King. What's going on, my dude? What's going on? I can't. I, I don't see What's up, face. bro? Uh, oh, nah, that's it. Was just the voice thing. You feel me? Uh, oh, okay. Well, you can let's go. Let's talk. Yeah, yeah, uh, nah. Um, so I don't, I don't smoke and I don't drink, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't e eat healthy. You get what I'm saying? So I want to know some tips on like eating more healthy. You feel me? Where I'm coming? Like I eat so. a lot of junk food, uh -huh. you know, and stuff like that. But I don't do no drugs. I, I never drunk. I, I don't smoke. I don't do nothing. You feel uh -huh. me? But I don't eat. I don't eat correctly. You get what I'm saying? I just want to yeah, know some tips where I can eat more. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would say this. I always tell people, and this is, I might as well start branding this sentence because I say, I find myself saying that a lot. I always say, let me be your first step. A lot of people feel as though whenever it's time to get healthy or when it's time to make these drastic changes and stuff in your life, and oh, I got to reverse this disease and blah, 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 blah. They got to just quit cold turkey or just go straight plant-based and blah, 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 blah. Not realizing there's steps to that. You know, so for one, I will always say, yeah. don't be hard on yourself. Like the average person that comes to me and they have like herpes or AIDS and stuff like that, I'll let them know off the rip. It's going to be like a six to eight week, if not probably longer than that process, because the things that you have within your body, just because you're passing and having bowel movements doesn't necessarily mean that it's outside of your body. So if you're somebody that's yeah, yeah. healthier, I'll say, you know, find your balance. Not everybody like somebody like me. I'm still 80, 20. You know, so it's like I'm finding my balance what works best for me, for my blood types, for my genetics, for my habits and stuff like that. So if, if I was you, depending on your allergies, well, before I say anything, what's your allergies? Do you have any allergies? I, nah, no allergies, nothing like that. Nothing, That's nothing perfect. too so crazy. Especially as a, as a young man, a young black man that has a lot of melanin, yeah. you know, we, we are, we're electrically charged by fruits and vegetables. You know, so if anything, I yeah. would say you need to focus more on like fruit juices. So I'm not saying, oh, keep eating bad and stuff like that. You know what you got to fix. If we if we all sit down and be real with ourselves, 
We know exactly what's causing damage. We know exactly what we shouldn't be eating, even though it For tastes sure. good, even though it's addicting, even though, you know, it gives <laughs> yeah. us... Because, I mean, you got to think about it. They designed it to be addicting and stuff like that. So no no harm, no foul. Like, I mean, you don't either you don't know any better or it's hard to... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a habit at the end of the day. You know, you're addicted at the end of the day. So don't, don't, don't ever beat yourself up about it. Always know that you got somebody to talk to. Hit me up. But I would say this. Start with juicing. Like I always tell, especially men, juicing. Yeah, juicing. Always get you some uh some cucumbers and peel the skin because cucumbers are cousins of melons. We don't eat the skins of melons, so we shouldn't be eating the skins of uh okay. cucumbers because it doesn't digest properly. But peel the skin off, juice that, and mix that with some green apples and get you like thirty two ounces of that uh every day. Berries. I don't know if you've been. I don't know if you're new to my page or you've yeah. been following me. But like I'm a blueberry head. I would drink like two, three, thirty two ounce jars of blueberry juice a day. And, like, the way it revitalizes you, the way it gets yourself back. Because I never had erectile dysfunction or anything like that. But I noticed whenever I was in college and I was eating honey buns all the time, zebra cakes, you know what I'm saying? Like, just eating trash and stuff like that. I was still handling my stuff in the bedroom, but, like, my erections wouldn't be as, you know, how it needs to be. Certain things wouldn't yeah. be how it used to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, my stamina would be, be off. I'm still killing it, but it's, yeah. not, it's not what I, you know, that prime. You know what I'm talking about? That prime of, like, really getting into it. Started juicing, started taking care of myself. Started running, you know, started getting back on my on my workouts and stuff like that. Now yeah. I'm back to 110. percent And you know what's crazy? I'm about to be 27, right? And I I I do that. I don't want to get shadow banned, but I, yeah. I blanket it blank better. You know, I work out better. I'm stronger than I was when I was doing all of my sports back when I was in college and high school. I can jump higher. I can dunk harder. I shoot better. Like it's crazy, you know. But like I would say, just if you want to start, bro. If you, if I'm really being real with you, don't be afraid to go crazy on the fruits, and don't be afraid to go crazy on like your um for sure on like your fruit juices and stuff like that and if i can give you any herb especially as a young man if i can give you two herbs that you definitely gonna need it's gonna be your himbe and it's gonna be damien and that's in the link in my bio you can go check that out but and definitely to get on my detox if you want to like a real good fresh uh first step try my detox man so where you can start flushing some of that stuff out You yeah, I'm, I'm gonna definitely look into that, bro. I'm gonna follow you right now, bro. You feel appreciate me? it, man. Appreciate it. It's all like I said. I'm, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna check you out. I eat a lot of. Hell yeah, I eat a lot of uh meats and stuff like like I feel like I'm a carnivore. I feel like I need to slow down <laughs> on that though. You know what I mean? But, uh, <laughs> you you'll, be, you'll be surprised. Well, I'm gonna check you, you out. Start bro. I appreciate that stuff out and you start substituting that with like fruits and all of that. You you would think because I mean I mean I I grew yeah. up the same. I'm from Southern Louisiana, bro. Like I grew up on gumbo and 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 okay. pork chops and smothered this, you know what I'm saying? So I know where you're coming from, but I will That's say so that it's a performance difference. Whenever you, even if you don't o- omit meat all the way out, if you eat less of that but start eating more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, there's a significant difference in everything that you do in your life. There's a significant difference in your vitality, in the way you move, and the way you breathe. Like it's it's crazy, bro. Like it's I, a whole you gotta difference. Give, you got to give it a try. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna check you out, bro. Appreciate you. I see I got another guest request. So we we covered a lot of time. Look, if you want to talk to me anymore, DM me. Or if you want to book a consultation, do that. But I, I'm not I'm not kicking you out, but I just want, I know I got a limited amount of time, so I just want to kind of get to everybody. For sure, bro. Peace Appreciate and love, you, my bro. Dude. Anytime, anytime. Okay, let's see. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Nothing much. So I'm the one with the one-up challenge question. So, so, so what is the, what is that? What is the one? I've never heard that before. One up challenge is a eight week competition. So you pretty okay. much they give you the diet, they give you the supplements, they give you the workout plan. Uh huh. My thing with that is I'm allergic to peanuts. I okay. just became allergic to peanuts and strawberries. So okay. the diet is not working for me. I'm not comfortable with taking the supplements because I just like had a really bad scare to where. Uh, what can I say? My so I started taking water pills. That that was the first problem. You said water, pills? water pills? Yes. And I was taking them like crazy, like taking four so at a time. Water pills, so wait, 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 pause. Water pills, I'm assuming though, it's like it's something that cuts like up with water weight and stuff like that. Yes. Yikes. Okay, you, you keep going. I was taking water pills. I was taking like a supplement to make you go to the bathroom. So not only was I taking a water pill, I was taking a supplement to make you go to the bathroom. And then I was taking something else, like they gave you energy. So all that mixed together, plus trying to eat healthy. And my electrolytes got thrown off so bad that my blood pressure was like two, 225 over 117. That is, oh my God, I'm glad you're still alive. 
And they said my potassium was so low, it was ridiculous. But I'm not a banana eater either. You don't necessarily have to eat bananas to get potassium from there. So they gave me some potassium pills. I'm I'm not a pill taker, and that's the mm -hmm. biggest thing. Like, mm -hmm. I finally got my blood pressure under control to where I'm comfortable, but now I didn't hit a plateau to where I'm not losing any weight. Gotcha. Okay, so are you familiar with caloric deficits and things of that nature, macronutrients and all of that? Somebody else told me that, but I've never heard of it. So I, I'll say this. So anytime you start having, like, these fads and stuff like that going on, Nine times out of ten, they're trying to force your body into a certain expulsion process that, that helps you drop weight. But when all actuality, you're just in an extreme caloric deficit and you're just it, like they put you on like essentially like super laxatives, right? So with that being said, I, me personally, I would say you can either try my detox or what you can do. Like I told the, the last young guy that was on here, you should start focusing more so on fruit juices and things of that nature and like finding out. What, what's best for your body so like your blood type like if, if i was you honestly i feel like you should book a consultation with me or just message me so we can work something out i'll do like a, I can do a custom protocol i'll, for you. I'll definitely will book a consultation i definitely yeah. will book that i'll definitely yeah, so I, can, will. I can get you a custom protocol going just give me your uh i'm gonna need your, your height yeah i mean you, you'll see whenever you book everything it's gonna ask for everything but um but essentially just to pre mentally prepare you know it's gonna ask you for like pre-existing medical conditions allergies height age weight and stuff like that your goals and all of that and I can definitely get with you on that. I can I can show you a more holistic way of doing it because the whole point. So I, and I can I can understand it. living in the day and age to where everybody wants to look a certain type of way. It's about aesthetics. It's about BBL. Blah blah blah. I get that. But what people are not understanding is that if you can lose it that quickly and you're not doing it holistically or naturally, you can gain it back if not more. And I gained all of it back. Forward. That was the you biggest thing. So I did it last year. Did the challenge mm -hmm. last year, and I lost like 120 pounds. Gained all of that back and got sick. I gained all of it back, so it's not. I need mm -hmm. permanent weight loss because what people don't understand, I had a C, I had two C sections, and mm -hmm. I cannot lose my stomach fat for some reason. See, no matter me, how much. Let me, let me pause you right there. Let me pause you right there. When it comes down to C sections and stuff like that, right? So when you're talking about. Okay, my bad. I had a phone call. When whenever uh whenever you talk about like losing stomach fat and stomach fat and things of that of that nature, you gotta understand. We're gonna talk about two things, and we're gonna talk about why that can happen. So it's something called subcutaneous fat, and it's something called visceral fat. Whenever you are pregnant, whenever you are preparing to to have children, and whenever you bear children, those those molecular structures and the way those alpha and beta receptors move after that first child will never be the same. But luckily, if you eat a certain type of weight. I've, I've had clients that didn't had four, five plus kids, and we didn't drop their weight down, got them chiseled, and all this type of stuff. But what they, what most people, what they're not going to tell you is that whenever you start going through that, you have to adjust to the hormonal changes that your body is going through. So with that being said, the foods that you're going to have to be is going to be very specific. The herbs that you're going to have to take is going to be very specific. The way you're going to have to sleep, the way you got to hydrate yourself and rest and stuff like that is going to be very, very, very specific. Because if not. And you're just going to be in a situation to where it's going to be the same cycle over and over and over again. Come grab them. You got, to, uh, you got to get them like over and over and over again because it, it's one of those things to where moving on to the next section, you didn't have kids, right? So you already know what it's yep. like to have kids. You go through postpartum, your hormones is up and down, your appetite is not the same, your fat retention and, and, and nutritional retention isn't the same. But what they're not telling you is even though it is a, hormon a hormonal balance, imbalance that's causing that, it's really a, a nutritional imbalance that's causing that because your intestines change. If you don't properly clean them out, and if you don't properly get all the bristles and everything moving again after having a child, you can eat as healthy as you want to. You can do this, that, and the third. But if you're not clean out, then essentially your body can't absorb nutrients. Which yep. is why you have people who clean out their stomachs, right? And they eat like birds, but they're huge. And you have bodybuilders that's plant-based, and they're huge. And they barely, not say they barely eat, but like they don't eat all the heavy meats. You know, they don't eat all that stuff, but they're still huge. But their mm -hmm. gut can absorb all of those nutrients. So if I was you, like I said, book a consultation with me. You know, do what you got to do. Okay. We can do your custom protocol, and we're going to get you. Don't, don't, that's not something you should even worry about. We're going to get you right. You just don't know the proper method, and that's what I'm here for. Thank you. That's no problem at all. Okay. These questions. Can you rec – oh, oh, wait, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. All these questions is flying in right now. Okay. Hey, Reiki, you want to come on? The, if you got time, you want to come on the live? I see you answering a lot of questions, too. For all y'all that don't know who Reiki is, she is one of the best, the 
best in the game. Like, I talk to that girl almost every day. The stuff we be talking about is crazy. Reiki, if you wanna uh if you wanna get on the live, just shoot the request and I'm I'ma add you on. I'ma add you on. I gotta get to these questions in the meantime. Uh complete address, wipe back like take. Yes, I read it already, read it already, read it already. Can you recommend something for thy thyroids? I actually have a thyroid protocol inside of my um inside of my shop in the link in my bio but if you want um if you want something more specific just book a consultation with me slide in my dm so we can get things rolling i can i can that y'all be surprised how easy it is to fix thyroid thyroid problems you, you'll be surprised they like to they like to say it's like it's hard and blah 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 they just they just trying to keep y'all coming back when it comes to food it's always about you not cooking your own food i started making my own noodles bread and more completely different like yeah when you start making yes you married i'm assuming you said you, you meant to say married i am not married but i will be soon the one of challenges she already said that if you are completely plant-based is it hard to get your protein in that's a misconception because it's not about protein it's about amino acids our bodies can only self-produce so many uh so i think it's like we have like eight to nine total that our body needs but our body only produces so many so you have to get amino acids honestly through fruits i had this discussion with people a long time ago i had a live and all that a long time ago about it but essentially your body needs amino acids and not protein. protein. Protein is a myth. The actual proteins and stuff that you're getting from eating flesh and stuff like that is just like the, the adrenaline that you're getting from, you know, and, it, and it's putrefied meats and stuff like that. So you're getting the excess of it and your body's working really, really, really hard to like get to the, the big, because your body only knows how to do one thing when it's eating something, how to digest it down to its most molecular structure. So you can eat, uh, you can eat a whole, a whole cow, calf, whatever you want to eat. You can do that but the body say this is the say this is the amount of food you ate the body is only absorbing that much food because it has to get through the putrefied cells the cellular waste all the the gunk the adrenaline all that type of stuff to even get to the nutrients so all the weight and the protein that comes with it and the size you put on is just cellular waste that doesn't know how to leave yet so you're just packing on size and if you keep eating like that the body's gonna just keep doing this thing because it can't expel it properly you know so no, that's a that's a myth you can you got bodybuilders that's plant-based and that's huge and plus we we living in i think veg Veg is one of, I haven't done enough research on them yet, but like I've been, I started doing research on them. Veg is one of the, one of the, the best, I guess you can say, uh, protein supplements you can get or brands that produce stuff like that for people that's vegan and plant-based and stuff like that. But honestly, there's so, there is so many other things you can eat that can keep you up and keep, prime example, y'all can go look at, uh, Torrey Washington on, um, on Instagram. He's like the king of plant-based protein and amino acids. He's, uh. <laughs> T O R R E Washington. He's a, a bodybuilder. Dude is jacked. He's huge, and he only he he's been plant based and vegan for like thirty plus years, I believe. You got people that live strictly off of coconuts, you know, in like other regions. So like it's not like I say that this protein thing that they're trying to spread on us is a myth, y'all. It's just that our stomachs are so used to eating certain things now, and we haven't cleaned them out properly. To where like once we clean them out, like I said, go get my detox. Once we start cleaning ourselves out properly, and then we start eating properly, you'll be surprised how big you can get off of like let's see if i can show y'all a picture i can show y'all a picture actually i'm gonna show y'all whenever i transition if i can find where's the effects on here i'm gonna show y'all exactly what i'm talking about where are the effects i don't y'all y'all help me out i'm trying to figure this stuff out i'm gonna put paul when it come down to this stuff okay i my comment i'm gonna get to it. give me a second y'all i'm trying to figure it out there you go effects i'm gonna show y'all what how small i was whenever i dropped and then whenever i started when i got 80 20 I'm gonna show y'all how just how big I got whenever I was uh on my plant based diet. Hold up, I gotta find the picture. Y'all, y'all not gonna. I'm telling y'all not even gonna believe it when y'all gonna see how big I had got. Cause I was like 145, 135, 145 when it happened. This was. I'm gonna show y'all the picture before. So on the left. God dang, it's not. Hold up. I gotta find a better one. Okay, this might. Is this it? No. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all bear with me. I'm trying to get this thing on. I'm trying to get it to where I can show y'all. Because this is just acting crazy. See, I told y'all I'm a football. I'll be trying, y'all. But I want to show y'all how small, how small I was. Trying to, I was always a hard gainer. It was so hard for me. You know, and I, and I did the whole, eat a whole bunch of meat and all that type of stuff. Well, just so y'all can see, that's the best I can do for right now. On the left, me in the suit jacket. That was whenever I was eating, like, you know, just eating cr crap. And then I started getting, I started, well, let me work out and get on my bodybuilding, blah, blah, with all the meat stuff. So the, the picture with me in the brown shirt was that, right? And you would think, oh, he look in shape, blah, 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 blah. 
I would just feel I would just fill with a whole bunch of waste, y'all. Like a whole bunch of gunk. Now I'm gonna show y'all my transformation picture whenever I did my detox and I dropped all that weight and then how big I got after that, strictly off of my plant-based diet. Let's see. You gotta load real quick. Man, I wish I I don't see the effect I normally use to show y'all stuff. This is annoying. I really want to show y'all this transformation. I'm sorry if it's taking forever, y'all. I'm trying to figure this stuff. I'm really trying to figure this out. Because <laughs> the, the effect I normally use is not on here. It is not letting me do it. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to just do it this way. The, bron the black shirt was whenever I had detox, right? Look how small I got. I had dropped all that weight. And, it, and, I, and I dropped it in like not even two weeks. Because my body was like, okay, good. We can get all this gunk up out of here. But in the red tank, as y'all can see, I got swole. And that was like just one, like not even a full summer. That was a half a summer of me just eating right and putting everything after I cleaned out my gut. Like it's, I'm, it's possible. This protein stuff is a, it's a myth. I keep trying to tell people it's, it's, this stuff is a myth. They just trying to do that to keep y'all, keep y'all entrapped in all of that, so y'all can make all this. They can make all this money off of y'all. I have just found out I have high cholesterol and higher liver enzyme and a thyroid hypothyroid help. So you all, right off the rip, you have an imbalance. That's that's clear signs of pituitary. That's actually your pituitary gland that's off and your adrenal glands that's off. So anytime you in that, you in that type of state, the reason why your liver enzymes and all of that is going crazy, you got to think about your transverse colon that's probably clogged up or it's probably just just got gunk in it that needs to get out. The reason why I say enemas are are amazing to do as well, but like you got to think about your transverse colon. So you have. The, di the digestive enzymes that start from the saliva glands, glands that hit your tongue and hit your mouth when you start eating. That's why I say chew your food finally before you eat it. Your esophagus, tongue goes into your esophagus, stretches all the way down. Before it hits the actual stomach, we have what's called a transverse colon. So it's right, it's literally, if y'all can see how I'm doing it, like this is the transverse colon, and this is your pancreas, liver, um, your kidneys, adrenal glands, and uh, what I didn't say. I think, I think that's pretty much, and they all like, they, they touch each other like they, they're kind of, they're not essentially stuck together, but they stuck like this, right? So with that, with that being said, the digestive enzymes and the digestive salts that come from the kidneys and liver and stuff like that, they push into the uh, transverse colon as the transverse colon is trying to start the, the uh, hyper digestive process. And but whenever your pituitary glands and your thyroids and your adrenals are off and they're offline and stuff like that, it's just overshooting. It's shooting too much. And it's a form of an acid. The reason why I say we shouldn't be doing apple cider vinegar because we already have a bunch of acids going on inside our body that's trying to balance this out and, di and digest stuff. So when you put even more on a high concentrated level of that, it's tearing your insides up. So now you're overproducing acids, and acids that don't go to the food and that go that don't go into the transverse colon, it leaks into your blood, it leaks into your veins, it leaks into every other thing. So now you got acid just floating around in your body and it's tearing you up. The reason why certain things are offline, certain things are degenerative, certain things aren't working properly, and you just need to flush. You need to, like I said before. Y'all go get my 7 out 10 day detoxes in my shop. Go to the link in my bio. Go get it. Take that thing. If not, you can just get my raw food protocol. Just start juicing. I cannot I cannot stress y'all how important it is to start drinking fruit juices. That is really how you start clearing everything up. And then get away from all them heavy meats. Even if you don't want to get rid of meats, that's fine. Stop. Get away from all that beef, all that pork, all that other stuff like that. Get on like the, the lighter meats and things of that nature. You know, like stop, cut yourself off from eating at a certain point in time. How about you only eat after you use the bathroom? Because most people are constipated and don't even realize. That's another thing too. You might be hella constipated and your body can't digest or expel things properly because you're so clogged up. I have a constipation protocol if you want to do that too. But ultimately, my detox is really what you need. But anytime you're in that type of situation and stuff like that, you need to flush. You need to get things moving because... Things aren't producing enough, or things are underproducing, or if it's especially if it's overwork. You said hypo, so I mean uh, it's under it's underworking. So you said hypo, them things sleep. They ain't doing what they gotta do. So like you know when you're talking about your liver enzymes and stuff like that, and the cholesterol, that's because the body's trying to compensate. Believe it or not, they say cholesterol, high blood pressure, or it's a disease and blah blah blah. That's actually the body trying to fix itself. There's bad levels of this and bad levels of that floating around, and the body's trying to create extra constrict and contract and stuff like that to let to push it through and stuff like that. But if you're not doing the proper stuff, and I'm not blaming you, I'm not saying, look, I'm not saying it's y'all fault. Some people just don't know any better. You know, we've been raised to do what we know how to do, and we're going to do it to the best of our ability. Nobody's knocking y'all for that. But here I am, giving, I am here, and I've been made to give y'all this information. So, like, detox your body, you know, protocol your body, juice your body, start drinking more chlorophyll water and things like that to where you can really get this stuff going and move your body. It's just, it's, it's expulsion and absorption that's the two things your body knows how to do best expel and, and absorb when it can't do those things properly we have an imbalance when you have an imbalance you have this eases that's it doesn't get any simpler than that that's how the body works it is not 
to get your protein. Plants have more protein. Amino acids, but I see what you're saying. Two-part question, what would you help with fibroids and endometriosis? That is a long, let me tell you something. When it comes down to fibroids and stuff like that, you can pass it. Believe it, believe it or not, you can pass it. So it's like, I have people that have done my detox and they didn't pass parasites and fibroids and stuff like that. And I will, I will say this, there are very, very, very specific. And the reason why I'm not going to give like a specific formula because it's different from person to person. So I honestly would tell you to book a consultation with me or ask for a custom protocol. But in the grand scheme of things, if you want to just get it started, get my detox. And like I said before, get to juicing. Because when you're thinking about fibroids and endometriosis and stuff like that, it's just an accumulation of cellular, cellular waste on a reproductive level. Because you got to think about your lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system starts at the top of your head goes all the way down to your body but it dumps into your stomach and your stomach is aligned with your reproductive organs and, and stuff like that so if it's not if the cellular waste is not because you gotta think about it, every cell you made up a trillion trillions and trillions of cells if your cells are pooping that's what most waste is you know so there's just a whole bunch of poop just sitting inside your body you know so if it's not passing and you get the fibroids and endometriosis and stuff like that it's just masses of waste masses of potential life and masses of cells that's just been sitting there and haven't passed Reason why some people that have like fibroids and stuff like that, they have the worst periods. They are very infertile because they're just clogged up with cellular waste and their reproductive organs. Reason why I say y'all need to like do the detox, shock your system, start getting away from play, especially with meats. If you got endometriosis and fibroids and stuff like that, PCOS, pull away from the meats. I'm not saying you have to go meatless. Not everybody built like that. Not everybody can do that, but pull away from it and really start getting inside of those fruit juices. Really start and, and seeded fruits. Don't do nothing that's seedless. If it can't bear it, another another fruit from itself it's not something you should be eating because it's going to cause more inflammation than healing but start taking control of your life hydrate you need to hydrate with chlorophyll water fruit juices chlorophyll water fruit juices for men distilled water for women distilled water or spring water but especially for men distilled water and mix that with some chlorophyll is going to cleanse out that prostate it's going to because our, our prostate and, and like where we would potentially have fibroids if we were a woman is doggone near the same thing cleanse that stuff out get that out your system and the moment you start cleansing, you'll be surprised. You got people pass some fibroids and stuff like that. Like, oh, well, it looked like a, it looked like it got teeth. Or I got this. Like some people have stuff to that level of severity. But that's, that's because you got to think about it. You have cellular waste mixing with all these other reproductive cycles that go on and it couldn't pass. And it's just been sitting in there. And the woman, the, the natural cosmic body that the woman, that, the, that a woman has is going to do what it normally does. Well, I'm designed to bring life. I'm designed to form life. If it's in there, I must be trying to incubate it and blah, 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 blah. So like the body is going to do what it knows how to do, but it's confused. It's clogged and it's confused. The signals are the pituitary gland trying to talk to the sister gland, the thyroid. The thyroid trying to talk to the to the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands trying to talk to the kidneys. The kidneys trying to talk to the liver. The, inter the, the transverse colons and everything trying to talk to reproductive artists. The signals are off because the nervous systems are shot. So you got to clean all of that out. It's, it'll be, you'll be surprised. Most things just require cleansing. You cleanse it out, it heals. It's that simple. Are you bipolar? Not being funny. No, I'm not bipolar. What makes you say that? That's, a, that's an interesting question. But no, I'm not bipolar. I don't think at least. I was just asking because I have PCOS and when I was vegan, I had issues. Now, I understand that. And see, that's another thing too. Vegan, be, going vegan doesn't necessarily mean, oh, the problems are going to be fixed. I always tell that to people. Plant-based is really the way to go because even with this vegan stuff, is like, how can I put it? This vegan stuff is the processed vegan foods or like the conveniency like they like to or the meat substitutes and blah 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 is just as bad as eating processed meats the chemicals and stuff that they put in there is just as bad so it, i'm not saying it's wrong to go vegan and stuff like that but you have to watch what you're eating and also couple that you should book a conversation with me i'll get a custom protocol but um or do my detox so you can you can at least start it or whatever you know but like really get in your system and really take the time to like dive into the, the plant-based side of things to where like you'll start realizing okay well if i do this and if i drink this and put this with here and i give my body from this time to this time to flush out this time to this time to neutralize this time to this time to expel you know then all of that stuff you like i just said when i was talking about the pcos and stuff like that you'll see how much easier it is to pass that stuff granted you might feel bad here and there like when you detox and stuff like that because that's just detox symptoms. it has to be reprocessed remember we talked about subcutaneous and visceral fat earlier visceral fat is the fat that surrounds your organs and makes it spongy and soft and protects but the subcutaneous is the fat that's underneath the uh underneath the first layer of skin you know so the cellular waste and the gunk and all stuff that can't be expelled where does it go strictly to the fat that's why we have alpha and beta receptors whenever it comes down to the meta uh the metabolism of our fat and fat cells so it's like i said it's just it's it's just floating waste it's floating waste. It's a mass accumulation of waste that has not or cannot be expelled at the moment because the body is trying to, the body is trying to, it can only do so much at one time. 
reasons why I made the detox, reason why I made the protocols to where it's like, okay, let's give it some guidance. Let's give it some instruction. And then you're going to move forward like that. Also, what would you recommend for ED in the 40 somethings male? I would say this. You should get you some Damiana. I have that in the link in my bio. You should get you some Yohimbe. That's in the link in my bio. You should be eating. If you can't juice it, you should be at least eating cucumbers without the skin and green apples all day and blueberries. Well, berries in general, but blueberries all day. When I tell you, you're going to go from here to like here, because what's happening is what most people don't realize, especially with men, erectile dysfunction, it isn't that we're getting older. I have clients that 60, 50, 60 plus years old, knocking it down. I didn't help them reverse all that type, knocking it down, you know, but like what I'm trying to essentially say is that you have, as you get older and based off of what you're eating, like I keep trying to tell people, you have mucoid plaque that are, are like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Are like hardened cholesterol that we have, what you don't realize is like, I can't stand up and show you because they'll probably shadow ban me for that. But like you have like this band or this, this joint, this tendon that stretches from the upper or well, the mid abdominal to the, the tip of the base of your thing. I can't say it on here and it gets clogged with certain types of cellular waste and acid and stuff like that. So if you're not flushing your body and hydrating all of that, it's going to get up, but it can't get up like you. That's really determines how, like, whether the erection is here, here, here. Like, because most people are like, well, the older I get, the lower it goes. That's because you're not cleaning it out. Prime example, my dad's going to be 46 this year. 46, 45. He's going to be 46 this year. And I, when I tell you I keep tabs on my father, like, any problem he's ever had since i got into this we've reversed everything and like i put i'm telling y'all i'm not bro i had him on hearthorn i had him on uh hearthorn berry cucumbers green apples all that and he never had like erectile dysfunction but you know things change as you get older and he didn't know what to do and i put him on that and i helped him with his blood pressure and his in his uh his diabetes not only did my dad drop like i think it was like 60 70 plus pounds but my dad got got jacked he started coming working out with me at the park now i got a gym in my backyard in my shade but like i was doing workouts for my community at the city park down the street you know we out there getting it and then and go outside get in that sunlight let that they say vitamin d comes from the sun but it's really it's a, it's a, a pheromone of vitamin d that the body converts via the sunlight because chlorophyll like prime example the sun the, the sun helps the plants with um with the photosynthesis process photosynthesis is a pheromone of vitamin d process and the concept of human anatomy it's the same thing we have borderline parallel genetics and molecular constructs just like plants the reason why i say chlorophyll will clean you out because it's there that what they give us is what we need to give them vice versa we're just made for each other that's just how it works you know so when you start cleansing yourself out cucumbers without the skin a whole bunch of um it's, oh pumpkin seeds too start chewing on pumpkin seeds not a lot or like you can get you some pumpkin seed oil that you can consume and stuff like that watch the difference Get away from all them hard meats. Get your cardio up, too. That's another thing, too. You're probably not moving like you used to move. Get your cardio back up. Hydrate yourself. Chlorophyll, like chlorophyll. Like, I, I will literally drink a gallon of chlorophyll water a day on top of my fruit juices. Like, by the time I get to about, let's see, about like 10, about like 11 o'clock through pretty much every day, I've consumed at least a box or two of blueberries and at least two 32 ounces, like, big jars of blueberry juice. Like, and when I tell you I'm good with mine, I'm good with mine. But I also, I take my Damiana. You know, I take my, uh, I take my, I take my dog on Yohimbe. I don't need it all the time because like that stuff is potent. But for somebody that what you're going through, you're going to need that. You know, I take my stinging nettle root. That's another thing too. That's in the link in my bio. It goes to that prostate and it, it cleans it out. You know, get on some pomegranates, get on the fruit, like fruits, man, citric acid fruits. That stuff is going to eat away at all that, uh, that, 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 um, that oral fat and all those cholesterol and crystallized waste is going to move that out of the way and you're going to get back up in no time. This is like everybody running towards these Viagras and these honey packs and all this type of stuff. Tan y'all livers up. Like, yeah, you get up and you get to go to pound town and stuff like that. But like in the long run, bro, that stuff just not going to work eventually. Your liver's going to be towed up. Like, you're going to be thinking, oh, I could just give me a honey pack or some Viagra, blah, blah, some Silas. And, and like, no, bro, you know you're not the same man you was before on that type of stuff. But you don't have, that's, that's reasons why, like I said before, you got people in the, in, the, in the islands that's living off of coconuts in their 60s, 70s and breaking young girls' backs, breaking people their age backs. Why? Because they are healthy. They're cleaned out. I, I keep trying to tell y'all, medicine is not the way. It will never be the way. It, it, it was never designed to be the way. But when you detox, like the one I got in my in my in my uh, on my website, when you get your protocols in, when you're juicing, when you're exercising, like there's not a like I might a day or two might go by throughout the week. There might be a day or two where I don't work out, but I'm walking every morning. I walk at least a good two and a half miles, three miles every morning with my dogs. 
and then I'm moving around, staying busy. I'm outside getting the sunlight, like y'all, and I'm eating right. You gotta do that. If you're not doing that, it's gonna go downhill. We were not designed to be stationary people. We we're not designed to be in the house. That's why COVID messed us up so bad because we was in the house for so long, not moving, not doing nothing. Everybody's scared to go outside. Everybody's scared to do this, that, and the third, making us weaker, making us more fear-based, making our auto, not our autoimmune system, our lymphatic system go down and stuff like that. When in all actuality, we all needed to be outside. We all needed to be eating fruits and vegetables. We all needed to be soaking up sunlight. We all, imagine if we would have came together. Just imagine if we all would have came together had meditation periods outside, soaking up the sun, eating right, walking together, sweating, getting everything out. We wouldn't even, a pandemic, it wouldn't even exist. But, you know, I could talk on and on about that. That stuff gets me heated every time. Fruit juice don't have too much sugar. Naturally, pressed, or Ricky already covered that good. I about to say, you, that's a misconception. Sugar is sugar, it will impact your insulin. No, 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 that's not how that works. That's not how that works. Did you get vaccine? No, and I never will. Uh, LASIK side effects with the oh wait hold up these comments rolling in these comments rolling in hold up hold up I'm trying to answer all of y'all I'm gonna stay on I'm trying to answer all y'all just give me a second I'm trying to scroll back up to the comments that I missed Reiki left I figured I saw I know she's busy can you talk about golden golden seal root what you want to know about it golden seal is essentially is a diuretic I'm gonna just say the general stuff about it golden seal is a diuretic so it'll help you with bowel movements it'll help you with cholesterol it'll help you with overall well-being but it's not something that you should rely on you can get some of those same properties of golden seal via fruits Peter you can get some of those uh, those same things via fruits and stuff of that nature just book the deep just book the detox definitely check your um and I remember it's a digital uh protocol so check your spam folder if you don't see it it's an instant download so if you don't get it check your spam folder all that type of stuff and please keep us posted background i don't know about the background what you, what you want me to know i will i'll be documented thank you so much i love your lives been manifesting a holistic mentor let me tell you something if y'all missed out that's nothing and i'm gonna say this and then we're gonna, we're gonna move on because i still got some more questions to answer if y'all missed out on the last live that i did oh we did a manifestation live and the results that people been getting. I show people how to manifest. I show people how to go inside of your dreams and dissect. Like I showed them with the colors, man. I showed them how to grab your spiritual aura and stuff like that. Y'all, y'all tap in on these, hit that follow button and hit up on these lives and stuff like that. I've been breaking it down. Like not today, cause I don't have enough time. Well, I don't, I don't have the setup that I need, but I'm gonna have it by next time. We're going into holistic self-diagnosis. I have a whole series I'm gonna be doing. Y'all better stay in tune. The reason why I be trying to tell y'all, cause you gotta, you gotta think about, it. I got people Whenever it comes to the detox that I, that I have, that I got in my shop right now, it's not just to oh, lose weight and blah, 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 blah. We're losing cellular waste. You're going to be losing spiritual waste. You're going to be losing mental waste. You're going to be decalcifying the pineal gland and stuff like that. You got people that need the detox and money started coming out of nowhere. Finally was able to start living the life how they want to. It was free and this, that, and the third. I'm trying to tell y'all, like, you got to, you have to make sure that you tapping in. Y'all better put them, note, them post notifications on. We don't have down here, them live notifications on and tap in because we about to be, I'm telling you, we're going to be working. I'm going to be work. I'm, I'm doing as much work as I can before I die. What's a good juicer that's not a ton of work to clean? See, that's the thing. The Omega, it was the, with the brand. Because I was looking at one the other day. Because I had the same problem with my last one. It just takes forever to clean. Um, I think it's the Omega. Oh, my God. I can't think of I'm sorry. I can't think of it right now. My friend Kelly sent it to me the other day. Um, Just type in like Omega. It's going Just type in Omega juicer and it should pop up. It's like... It's a little pricey. It's not. It's not like five hundred dollars or nothing like that. It's like by two, three hundred, uh, two, three hundred dollars and stuff like like that. I want to say, but like it's one of those that like it got the straight uh, cylindrical shooter that goes into the grinder that comes into the shooter. So all you gotta do is really rinse it out, and like the other part comes off, and you can brush it out. So that's the one I'm thinking about getting next. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's not store bought juice. It depends. Like, well, I agree. I said I agree. I'm not gonna sit there and debunk that. I just rather go to the fresh markets and stuff like that. I'll do y'all research. Love chlorophyll water. Chlorophyll water is where it's at. What's up, Joy? I'm seeing that Joy is up in here. What's up, Joy? Oh, I got a guest request, y'all. Let him in. I'm going to let him in before we keep moving on. What's Can you happening? Hear me? Hello? There we go. I just wanted to say this black man is fine, y'all. <laughs> when I say... No, I, wait, no. That's don't all do I that. Need don't, to do that. don't do that. Don't that's do that. That's all I need. Skin in check. Teeth in check. Hair look good. Uh, good. Just fine. Thank, thank you for the compliment. I received the energy. And that's I'll really come. all I need to be saying. That's really all that. So if there's any racist people in here, I already know they're getting delivered. 
especially the <laughs> racist white girls, these little Karens, you got them changing their mind. You got them <laughs> contemplating what their daddy been telling them their whole life because you child is fine. We got to stay focused in 2022. I thank you for the compliment. I thank you for the compliment. I'm not going to dismiss the compliment. Thank you so much. I know that's right. Period. <laughs> oh, funny. Y'all some funny people. I'm about to start juicing. My wife got me one. Yeah, what you... I would say this. If you wasn't on the live earlier, um, berries is definitely the way to go, but I can't tell who I'm looking at. But I would say this. Cucumbers without the skin... And green apples mix that a lot i'm not saying do celery juice a lot because even though i do promote celery juice but like take your time with that because it can it can do a lot to the body as the chef in my household do i need to consider my diet and my man's diet consult separately i would i mean in all in all actuality i'll say this if you could get the whole household on on a on a good plant-based diet or at least like a like a good balanced diet between how you want to do it i'm not gonna say y'all shouldn't consult because i mean you know that's, that's your husband that's your household yeah, I mean, keep your balance. King to queen, you already know how that game go. But, I mean, I wouldn't see why not they wouldn't be on board for it. You know, and there's plenty of dishes you can eat and, and drink that's, like, very beneficial and it tastes good. You know, so it's just more so of discovery. And I'm almost done with the book, y'all. I know I told y'all a few lives ago I'm working on the recipe book and stuff like that. I'm almost done with it, y'all. i just been really, really busy. Why distilled water and not spring water? I say that for men because what distilled water does for us, especially when you mix it with chlorophyll, it goes straight to our prostates. And it grabs all of the gunk that's in there. The reason why when a lot of men, especially like whether they have uh, prostate problems or they're not aware of it, they notice they pee a lot more and the pee has a little, like, like I don't know what to call it. There's a, I forgot the word for it, but it's like, I don't want to say minerals, but like little sediments and stuff like that in there. It's really the stuff that's just been sitting in there. And then you notice that, you know, you stuff start working better you don't have them pauses in your pee anymore you don't dribble anymore because actually dribbling is also another sign of too much estrogen inside of the male body you know but that's a that's a whole nother lie that's a, that's a literally a consultation there's unhealthy vegan food definitely definitely what do you think about fenugreek fenugreek is really good i mean it's one like i said like with any other herb like don't a lot of people come on here and they get all of these herbs and they want to go crazy with it and they're not aware of detox symptoms and stuff like that take your time follow the suggested dosage Stay hydrated. Make sure y'all eat properly and then take your herbs step by step. Don't do what I did. I mixed Capero with um with what I had. Capero with uh Palmamosa seed with um I had chlorophyll water. I mixed that with um Damiana. And I was one other thing I mixed. Child, I was on that toilet for days. Oh my god, my stomach was in shambles. But I was just doing what I normally do and experiment all all hype because I got some new herbs and stuff like that. That I was reading up on. She said, thank you so much. You're so welcome. That's amazing. I don't know what she's talking about, but thank y'all. Oh, I'm just seeing all these roses. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Pizza the beat in the building. What's that? What's that? Why not the cucumber seeds? Because cucumbers are cousins of the watermelons. Our bodies cannot properly, just like our bodies can't properly digest watermelon skin, it can't properly digest cucumber skin as well. Like, you have to peel it because the way it breaks down inside the body, it requires a lot of fungus and bacteria and it can cause intestinal problems. Fifth Avenue 7 said, hey, hey, what's out? What's out? Welcome to the live. Welcome to the live. Oh, so many thank yous and so many. Man, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Would you recommend Would you recommend not taking the medication for PCOS? My doctor is pressuring me to take it. I would say don't take it if you're going to do the holistic route. Hit, like through, if you're really going to run with it. Because I don't want you getting off of medication even though I'm against it, I don't want you getting off of it and then you're just going to lollygag with certain things and then you're just going to start spinning in circles and you might cause problems. So unless you're really ready to cleanse, don't just don't. I'm just essentially I'm saying just don't play with your health. Me personally, of course, I would say get off of it. Juice and detox and blah, blah, blah. Of course, I would say that. But, you know, not everybody built for that every time. But, you know, take it as your own. If you want to book a conversation with me so we can really dive in, let's do that. We'll do that. My bad, y'all. These comments rolling in. I'm trying to scroll back to the top to the parts where I was. We were designed to work as much. Wait, we weren't designed to work as much because there's no way we can do all that. Exactly. Yes, I speak about that all the time. Not being outside during the shutdown did many. Exactly. Like I had people, you know what's crazy? Every single person, whenever the shutdown and everything started and the pandemic really got booming, every single person that, that stayed coming to my summer classes, who was outside sweating and it was following my diets and stuff like that, didn't catch COVID, was dropping weight, was healthy, nobody got sick. Like, and in the moment those people stopped because it started getting colder and stuff like that, 
all of everything just came back. And I'm sitting there like, I tried to tell y'all. Like, I, I just be sitting here like, I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, it's, it's really, it's a method to it. Who's this? A Ross Brown 2 said, yo, what's that? What's that? What's that? Advice for insulin resistance. So it's not exactly that your body is resistant insulin. Insulin is more so the fact that the pancreas isn't doing its job properly. So bilberry. I have that inside of my uh, the link in my bio. You need some bilberry. And also, stay clear from vegetables for a little while. You need to focus on fruits. You need to focus on hydrating yourself. And pull away from... Uh, look, if you can't pull all the way from meats, I understand. But pull away from the heavy meats and eat as little meat as possible. And give that pancreas time to get back online. Because if you're insulin resistant... That means that the body cannot is having a hard time processing everything that's being shot out. Cause y'all think about it, the pancreas excretes, the liver excretes, the kidney filtrates, the adrenal the adrenals filtrate. That's all tied in one section. You got enzymes, you got aminos, you have um, digestive liver. You got so many chemical chemistry things going on right there. And if you're resistant to the insulin that the body is trying to actually produce to energize, cause your, your liver stores up to six to eight, uh, six to eight or eight to twelve hours of energy per day regardless of your condition so if your pancreas isn't in a place to help coincide and regulate and all that type of stuff you got to get it back online you have to get it back online so start with bill berry root would uh i'm sorry start with bill berry it's in the link in my bio you can definitely do the detox that'll that'll get you right where you need to be or focus on your fruit juices and stuff like that and the reason why i say let me explain that the reason why i say fruits instead of vegetables is because vegetables give you a different type of glycemic um reaction than fruits do Fruit's gonna focus more on the fructose. The body knows exactly how to, what to do with that, as opposed to the vegetables releasing all of that that glycogen and stuff like that, and, and just kind of running a little too rampant. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really help. Can you please save the lives and put them on YouTube if that's possible? We always do that. Yeah, y'all can go to the link in my bio, or you can go to YouTube and type in Coach Brian. Uh, it's a red logo, and all of my stuff is on there. We always do. And subscribe and, and turn your notifications on too, because we be we as as busy as we are, we try to keep things updated. Omega uses BPA in their plastic. Yes, sir. Blessings, brother. Thank you. Oh, it's Jay Riggs. Y'all, Jay Riggs is in, the, is in the building. What's up, bro? One of the best rappers out here. Your opinion on CMOS, turmeric, and fish oil. First of all, fish oil can go. Um, turmeric and CMOS, that's great. CMOS is going to... I would say this with CMOS. Get the CMOS that's... Um, the ones that's the ones that's being grown in the in the west right now are really potent because the herbicides and pesticides are abundant because so the water is trying to filtrate itself and sea moss is designed to purify and filtrate the water so get your sea moss from the west get your sea moss from like uh, uh like the real jamaica like the the more purple the better and and the more stringier the better the big chalky ones it's not the same get the stringy ones turmeric turmeric is good for the digestive tract is good for the blood system so you know watch yourself with that don't do don't overdo it because you know you want to make sure you're balanced in, in all things but the fish all push that you don't need that it's the redirection for me i don't i don't all these bro what do you recommend for diabetes i just talked about that i'll say it again though um when i have a diabetes protocol but um you can do my detox or you can go get the bilberry that's inside the link in my bio you can go get that and they'll help you out and pull away from the vegetables for a little while it doesn't have the same sugar response as fruits do push more the fruits than the vegetables our cucumbers about the skin for men our skin is not good for, it's not good for anyone it's not good for anyone film i don't know what she's talking about there's 69 people here that's all that's my piece I don't know how to, I'm not respond. I'm sorry, I don't know how to respond to that. I like this. I th I'm glad that y'all in here though. Trying to join to re join the request a Rose Brown too. I'm thinking, did you did they already go live? I don't I'm sorry if I don't remember. I'm just trying to I'm just flowing, you know. So I'm just shoot like oh yeah, if all the new people is in here, um yeah, y'all can just request to go live and make sure y'all cameras on too. Because the audio stuff is kind of weird. Make sure y'all camera I like to see facial expressions and stuff like that. But I will say the rules again. For all the new people I'm seeing up in here, you get belligerent. You get racist, you get bigoted, you start trolling, you start acting crazy, you will get blocked and you will get pushed out. I'm a very nice person, but we don't have time to be spreading that negative energy right now. We going into the spring equinox is about to hit. I'm not letting none of that, none of them spirits, none of that come up in here. So just know you will get booted out without any type of repercussions or whatever. Like, I'm not even going to warn you. You just going. So y'all can request to come in live, but act accordingly. So pick, wait, 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 wait. All this stuff coming out of nowhere. God, I just got back to the other comment. I got to scroll back up. Where is it at? Where is it at? So pickles are not good for the body. Not exact. I, me personally, I'm not a pickle fan to begin with. So nah. I hate metformin. Don't take it yet. Please don't. 
which protocol you suggest for your PCOS. I would say, honestly, for PCOS, I have the women's sex organs protocol that you can use. But like the more information I've been getting on it, um, I will say this. I would advise you all to book a consultation or get a custom protocol for me like that. Because we about to we about to update a lot of stuff. Thyroid, POS. Or you can do yeah, that too. You can do the thyroid, into lymphatic, into raw food protocol. That's a, that's another more efficient way to do it with the stuff that we have inside of our shop. Hypertension. What you want to know about hypertension? Well, I'll talk about it. So hypertension essentially is not a bad thing. It's just your body trying to tell you that the quality of blood that you have inside of your body is horrible. So hypertension, hypertension essentially. Well, let's let's talk about palpitations of the heart. Let's just talk about how the heart works. So the 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 common belief in Western medicine is that the heart pumps the blood throughout the entire body. That's not that's not a fact. The heart can only push. The heart is the heart. Let's start with this. The heart is a valve. Things go in, go out, oxygenate, deoxygenate, all that type of stuff. So when it pumps. It can only go as far as like the, the cavity, the chest cavity, right? So your muscles are constricting to push that blood to every other way. Notice how like, prime example, if that if that were the case that the heart was responsible for all of that to get it all across, if your leg falls asleep, why isn't your whole body falling asleep? If your arm falls asleep, why does everything else not fall asleep? If the heart is responsible for all of that, it's the muscles. The muscles help constrict things. So when you have hypertension, is that the veins and the quality of your blood is kind of bad so the body is trying to make constrict and pump more blood in expand constrict to get blood to where it has to go because blood is the life of the body so until you purify it until you really get it to where it needs to be it's going to be like that reasons why i tell people get my five or ten day detox that's in the link in my bio it'll shock all of that target all that and then bow it'll alkalize your body real quick you'll be good if not get you some comparable that's in the um that's in the link in my bio now i will say this you can get that compare if you want to you better eat right because if not one thing i learned about taking that herb and not eating right you will get sick and like you will be you can be drooly because it's like it's trying to fight the impurities but if you put another crap in there it's gonna target everything you're just gonna be sitting there like this all day gotta poo gotta throw up that's why i say do the detox the detox is subtle but it's aggressive at the same time you're not gonna have all of them detox symptoms and stuff like that my period came back wait welcome my period came back just doing those two let's talk about the lymphatic system what you want to know I'll say this though before they before they reply, the lymphatic system. Um, I, know, I thought they was about to do something in my front yard. There's no such thing as an immune system. It's all lymphatic system. So if they tell you, oh yeah, but autoimmune system, blah blah blah, that doesn't exist because the body is not designed to fight against itself. The body is designed to heal itself. So if you have Crohn's, if not Crohn's, if you have lupus and AIDS and all this type of stuff, no, you just have the lymphatic system is offline or it's not functioning properly and it needs to be reset and are flushed and are um, revitalized to work properly. Can you detox and exercise like work out at the gym at the same time? That's what I did. A lot of my clients did that too. They had a girl named Keely. She did it. The first time she did the detox, she didn't because she wanted to just see how it felt. Second, she lost about like 14. No, she lost like 20 pounds. The second time she did it, she was exercising. She lost way more than that. Like she was just, and she had snapped. She had a kid. She had gained a bunch of weight from a kid because she was just eating bad. And she, she snapped down and she still has yet. It's been like, what, a year? And she still has yet to go anywhere past her current, the, the weight that she was after she detoxed. And she is chiseled right now. Does the detox uh, help with parasites and uh, what herbs would eliminate them? The detox definitely is designed for that too. So essentially, and, and I don't want y'all to get scared. A lot of people like parasites and blah, 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 blah. If you got ways, you probably got parasites. And yes, they pass. Trust me, they pass. Um, I believe Miss Key to the Beach, she was in here not too long ago. She had messages talking about like thinking that she passed a parasite and stuff like that. And I've had other people, you know, pass parasites and send pictures and things of that nature. But I will tell y'all this. My bad, y'all got, I don't know what's in my eye. Um... But if you don't want to do that, and if you're nervous to do that, you can do uh, Sweet Wormwood. That's in the link in my bio. You can knock that out, and it's going to target that. But the detox helps better because you're in a scheduled system with specific herbs and foods and fruits like that that target the enriching of the body, and the system is going to get you together. So for insulin resistance, when you say pull away from veggies, should I also pull away from salads? Yes, essentially. It really should just be fruits. Get on them fruits. You'll see the difference. Oh, my God, the way I'd be on your be on the supplement aisle because your your tiktoks you are the best <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much completely yes completely how much is too much turmeric follow the dosage because you'll know being that turmeric is anti-inflammatory it can also kind of upset your stomach if you're not balanced so what i'm saying when i'm saying too much essentially what i'm saying is like if you're not hydrating you're not eating enough fruits and stuff like that and you start tearing down on a bunch of turmeric then your stomach is going to get a little irritated because it's like i already barely have the right stuff in me or i barely have enough in here and then like you know you, you're putting this stuff in here that's like kind of like a, a diuretic and it's not helping me you know it's, it's making me upset so just be that's why i say just be mindful i just got here anything burn fat 
Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to answer this the right way. I would just say this. I would say this. Do my do my detox, or you can book a, a consultation with me, and we can target your specific needs because not all fats are bad fats. Certain fat amounts are bad, but I wouldn't focus on strictly that. For men who is 60, do you advise to get a colonoscopy? Definitely. Okay, hold on. Let me let me go inside real quick, y'all. It's starting to it's starting to get loud. As y'all can see, he's uh he's doing his thing right now. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna go inside. I want to be outside, y'all. It feels so good outside. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. It's just loud outside. Oh. See, I'm about to come up in here. Just come up in here real quick. Okay. Put the light back on. Give me a second, y'all. I'm about to get my stool. You want that one? Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. It's all good. Thank you, though. Let's see. For men who is 60, do you advise to get a colonoscopy? Yes. And even on top of that, I would advise you to get colonics and things of that nature because, and enemas, and I feel like if you a man, you gotta be doing enemas. You gotta make sure, okay, that, that's gonna bother me. Um, You gotta make sure you're doing, you're doing your enemas and like you're really taking care of your colon, I mean your colon, your colon and your prostate because if you're not doing that, you're not really like douching it, not douching it up. But like pushing it out and stuff like that is gonna get clogged and it's gonna get worse. You have to expel. Stop being afraid. I hate to say it like this, but stop being afraid to put stuff up there. Like it's, it doesn't make you any less of a man or anything like that. It, it actually heals you. You know, and I'm not saying like go crazy and like ah all that type of stuff. But like I mean, think about like an animal. Them things is like it's like that small and it's skinny, but it pushes. You know, it pushes the stuff in there and it cleans the colon. It cleans the wall. You'll be surprised how much gunk, parasites, and waste you have just sitting right there. Let that stuff clean it out and push it out. Stop, that don't make you any less of a man. You gonna I bet you ain't gonna be feeling no type of way whenever your stuff start working better and you breaking backs. Get get together. Is the detox program safe for teens? Yes, I would say nobody. Uh, I would say don't let them take the herb that I suggest because that's more so for really grown bodies. But if it's a teen, I would say like start them off like like in between sixteen on up, seventeen on up, really eighteen. But like be mindful. I wouldn't put it on like no young young child. Cause their body's still developing and not that it would hinder development but it's just like the herb that's in there it, it like kind of makes the stomach really get to work so just be be careful please okay wait hold up all this stuff coming in i don't know what this thing got going on i'm trying to answer these questions chelsea ignore that comment my phone did something stupid thank you man exactly what's that it's a seven day ten day oh okay in the body. okay they're, they're talking that's what that is Thank you, sir. That's no problem. Advice for dementia. So your vagus, when it comes down to dementia, your vagus nerve. Okay, so you got to think about your vagus nerve like this. If I have one, uh, it's right here. So your vagus nerve. God, dog it. Well, think about a phone a phone charger. Because my phone thing, if I take this out, this thing is probably going to die. The, the cable's all tangled up. So you got to target the vagus nerve. And you got to target the, because dementia is essentially like the stomach and the mind are having a misalignment. So a lot of gunk, a lot of mucoid plaque is probably sitting all right here. And all along the insides right there. So it's your job to clean that out. So I would say if you have dementia, you definitely need my detox protocol. And then after that, you need to start getting on ginkgo biloba. That is another herb that's designed to help with brain cognitive function and ginseng. Help it'll keep you going in teas, a whole bunch of teas. Keep yourself bright, keep yourself sharp. Start doing mental exercise and stuff like that too. A lot of recall, a lot of hydration. Dementia is just a dehydrated brain and a dehydrated and clogged up molecular ash intestinal wall. That's all it is. Hydrated, well, clean it out hydrated, nourish it, back to normal. Before I have a hysterectomy, is there anything I can take to heal or stop the heavy flow? Definitely. I'll don't, there's really just an estrogen imbalance. That's all it is. Book a consultation with me so because that's going to be something we have to dive into. It's going to take about 30 minutes to an hour just to explain all of that. So book a consultation with me. We'll get you going. Don't worry. You don't have to, you don't have to do that. So do you feel the parasites? When you're passing them, not no, because they're dead. I mean, you're killing them. The detox is designed to like knock them out. You know, parasites only feed off of junk and processed food and all that type of stuff. But if you start filling it with everything that I'm going to be telling y'all to eat and the herbs and stuff like that, they die immediately. So you just pass them. And it's not like no big crazy, unless you just really infested or like in, in people that's really infested, they know they're infested. You know, that's the people that have the worms kind of like moving around as they sleep and they, they booty holes be all itchy and stuff like that because it's moving, like it's really moving. But for people, the normal people, well, people don't have, don't, that don't have symptoms that severe, you know, it, 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 it kind of, it pulls it out differently. It's not the same. Why did it say I was mentioned? 
I don't I don't know what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about the title. I did that on purpose. Uh avocado burns belly fat. Eh, it depends on the person, yeah. If you eat in a in a uh, deficit, yeah. Did your detox have a green juice recipe? My detox has it all. It has it all. Is burdock root good and dandelion root and ashwagandha? Yes. Depending on what you're trying to do. But I would say burdock root and dandelion root, which you should focus on, ashwagandha is extra. So you don't have to even add ashwagandha to that, that formula. But burdock root and dandelion, you're cleansing the liver, you're cleansing the kidneys. Uh, get milk thistle too. That's all in the link in my bio. Get all that stuff. It's 35 degrees where I'm at. Uh, I don't, I don't know. what I haven't checked the weather yet. I feel like it's it's because it's not cloudy. We finally starting to have some, some decent sunlight. How much are your consultations? I cut a swap, so Chelsea. He you wearing the, the hoodie Leland made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chelsea's little boy does custom work, and he did uh, my hoodie. And I'm waiting for my phone case to come in. Like, the dude is dude is gifted. He's so gifted. He's a genius, bro. Like, 12 years old, and his voice deeper than mine. That don't make no doggone sense. Oh, wait. The comments are rolling. I'm sorry, y'all. The comments are rolling. I got to scroll back up. I'm sorry, y'all. What was the best water to drink while detoxing? If you're doing my detox, I, it explains all of that. I can't give all the secrets out, you know, because I want people to actually experience it. But if you're doing your own natural detox, I would say chlorophyll water is the best. My daughter has constipation problems and she is 12. What would you suggest? Um, If you want, like, it depends. If she's a, I'm going to say this, fruits and fruit juices, all the breads, all the candies, all the starchy stuff, the yeasty stuff, pull it away. The processed foods, pull it away. That's nine times out of ten what's causing it to begin with. And if you want to, a quick little hack, you can get like a little banana and you can put it in the oven. Don't cook it all the way through, but just get it like hot enough. Mush it, mush it, like mush it up like a, not like pudding, but like just mush it up and get her to eat it. It's going to flush out and she has to stay hydrated. Hydration is the key. You hydrate them, it's going to come out like that. Can you, for your safety, everyone in a while is not met? I don't know what she's talking about. I went from 400 pounds to 319 and trying to lose more. And you would definitely need my detox would definitely help you drop way more weight than that. All these comments is rolling in. I have to keep scrolling up. Hold up. Will you be having a sell anytime soon on detox protocol? De Actually, I, me and Chelsea had talked about that not too long ago. And Moss, I believe so. Oh, no, no, no. It's not a sell. It's a giveaway. I think we're doing a giveaway soon. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I gave up caffeine and boiled dandelion root. That is that is ideal. Caffeine actually doesn't give you energy. You have two nervous receptors. So you have one that tells the body you're tired and you have one that tells the body that you're not tired. Caffeine blocks the neural receptor that tells the body that you're tired, which overloads the one that tells you that you're not tired and has that one working, 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 working. The reason why people that, that do a lot of caffeine when they stop, they crash or they groggy or they irritable because the body's like gas, 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 gas and no brake pedal. So whenever you actually hit the brake pedal, it's like, like you run into a brick wall. So that dandelion root was a great reversal because it shoots the signal back to the neural receptors and it cleans out the liver with all the caffeine that's built up in there. So that was a genius move. Genius. Can you cover irritable bowel syndrome? What can a child take to naturally get rid of it? Essentially the same thing I was telling the other lady. What a child that's constipated because irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's, there's just different, different levels of severity of constipation. Hydrate natural fruit juices don't get the welsh don't get the mini made that's not real actual fresh pressed juices get those especially like berries and stuff like that for kids it works wonders watermelon juice too seeded watermelon juice works wonders have them tell some fruits tell water you know there's ways to trick kids to eat even if they don't like it trick them to, to liking it and stuff like that pull away from all that meat all that bread all that candy and stuff like that get them eating right and drinking and, and keep them like like hydrated and they'll just be it'll fly out trust me it'll fly out. i used to suffer with that real bad as a kid why does my phone keep doing that? I'm not trying to reply to nobody. This comment thing is weird. I don't like this. I gotta keep sending these comments to um this thing's weird. Let's see. Insomnia. Insomnia is another that's another nervous problem. It's the stomach essentially. So you have to make sure you're cleansing out your stomach. I would say do my detox. And then you should get on um ginkgo biloba. And you should get on, what's the other one? There's another one I can't think. I'm trying to think about it. I can't think about it right now. Um, I want to say ashwagandha. I want to say ashwagandha is the other one. Chamomile. Chamomile is the other one. You can drink it in a tea form or you can um take it in a pill form and it'll sedate you. And lavender too. Like you can do like um aromatherapy is really, really great for stuff. Like get you an oil diffuser, get you some mint or something. Like for me, what I do is, or you can get you like just a pot of water. Cause like I make disinfectants, I make my own disinfectants. So like you get you um some peppermint oil, 
put that inside of a uh well actually boil your water first get your water get your water like piping hot and boil it and then put some peppermint oil in there and just put like a fan on it and let it fill up the house you're gonna be like this you're just gonna be like really you know you're gonna be just done i'm telling you i didn't clean up the house with that stuff and found myself sleeping on the sofa thanks for the rose y'all I black I bought black cumin seeds for the tea with no instructions. Do I just let them steep? Yeah, just like with any other tea. So like the more potent you want it, the longer you let it steep. So but never boil it with the herb. So you can like what I would do is like if you can get you can get like a mason here's one way to do it. Get you a pot. Boil that water with the mason jar inside it with the, the herbs inside of that mason jar with some water and it'll steep it like it'll boil it like that and you let it steep. So let it sit after it's done boiling for like 10, 15 minutes, I want to say. If not, you can get like a, a tea kettle and you can get that water going and put that with the herbs in the mason jar and like let it do it like that rather than like just boiling it directly. It's just something about boiling it directly just kills a lot of the nutrients in it. You are giving, you are giving people the gift of healing, but if you don't specify, you aren't giving medical advice, it have legal ramifications. I'm so confused at what you're trying to tell me. Thank you for what you're doing anytime, anytime. Peppermint oil also helps to open you up your nose. Definitely will. You're going to be oozing mucus and stuff like that. Great stuff. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We got like a pretty decent live today. It's like 60, 80. I think the highest we got was like 80. I want to say like everybody up in here doing their thing. I, I love, I love the support. I love what y'all got going on. And if y'all don't have any more questions for me, we can, uh, we can call it a day, y'all. I definitely want to come up in here and, um, and we'll just talk to y'all and break some stuff down. Basically, she's saying you are the doctor and you need to say that every now and then so you don't get sued. Ew, that's what she's saying. Thank, the God, thank God for Chelsea. I'm not a doctor, guys. I just believe in holistic medicine. I'm a holistic practitioner. I studied under Dr. Uh, Dr. Yaki, Yaki uh, Dr. Savi, Dr. Melanie Stevensons, Dr. Robert Nor Morris, and Ginger DeClue. I am not a doctor. I did not go to medical school where they do all the fake stuff and all the... the western medicines that's all crazy but i am a holistic practitioner and i study in holistic medicines and holistic practices i am not a doctor i should start you know what i'm gonna start and i'm not being petty that's me being for real um i should start doing that like every video <laughs> i am not a doctor but and then i'll just start going in so that'll be that'd be good idea. thank you so much miss vada veda michelle i think i said it right dr morrison thank you again for that plug more not morrison morse Morse, M-O-R-S-E, Dr. Robert Morse. He's an old white guy. You should put a disclaimer or something. Yeah, probably so. Cause you know, you know, people like to like to run with everything these days. Even though the, the stuff that I'm giving them is like ideal, but you know, bro, I hate this phone. Jesus Christ, I missed the plug. I'm a, I'm gonna type it in. Hold up, let me type it in. Doctor Moon Boom Moon Beam in the building. Dr. Robert Morse. That's the person I was talking about. Oh, she already put it good. God bless Yeshua. Loves you. Have a blessed day. Sure do. Thank you. And you have a blessed day as well. Any more questions? Any oh, y'all sharing up this live. I'm at 15. Thank y'all. Any more questions? Any more questions? Repent from the kingdom of heaven is at hand. God bless you. Yeshua loves you. Have a blessed day. Don't start doing that in my comment section. Don't start scaring people. I'm a firm believer in repentance and stuff like that, too. But there's a certain way I like to go about it. This is my page. I would look. I, I appreciate it. I do believe in God. I do believe that there's a way to do it. But don't start. People get scared for stuff like that. It's a certain way you talk to people like that. I appreciate the sentiment. But don't do that in my comment section. Please don't. I don't want to block you. I know your intentions are well, but just don't. Y'all just don't. People is so fickle these days. I'm trying to do things the way I'm the way God doing it for me through my medium of information and transportation. So. Like I said, I respect it. I'm a firm believer in God too, but that's not how I'm going to do that on here. I don't do that. I totally believe in what you're teaching. It should be protected. Definitely. Definitely. I, I believe the same thing. Can children do a parasitic clean, cleanse? I would say, I would say more so, the safer way to do it is just to not say fast, make them fast, but more so berries and stuff like that. Because I'm I'm just somebody that's really hesitant to put kids on herbs so early. Because when people say children, I think about like five year olds, two year olds, and stuff like that. They're still developing, so it's more so about what they're eating rather than oh, well, what herbs and stuff I can put them on and stuff like that. So just focus more so on berries and stuff like that, and like pulling them away from candies and all that type of stuff. Who'd you study under? I'll say it again. 
Robert, Dr. Robert Morris, Dr. Lila Africa, well, the late Dr. Lila Africa, his wife, Dr. Melanie Stevenson, uh, Dr. Sabi, Yaki, Yaki, Yaki Awakening, I don't know why I can't pronounce that today, Yaki Awakening, and Ginger the Clue. That's my, uh, and Robert Morris. Is Black Seed all good? I have to leave the phone for a minute. What did you say about, oh, I had to leave the phone for a minute. What did you say about Alex Road? I don't know what I said about Alex Road. Well, Alexis Road. But Black Seed all is really good. It's really good for purification. Just don't go overboard with it because it's a real, real potent, um, it's a real potent substance. So I'm just trying to make, I just don't want to scare nobody. I'll say this because y'all know my biggest belief is it cures everything but death. But like, you have to eat right with it. You have to do right by it because if not, it's just going to go in there and grab whatever looks like it's not supposed to be there and it's going to run rampant. I eating the papaya. What do I do with the seeds? Keep them. Keep them in uh and grow grow you some more. I believe you can actually eat them. I don't. I haven't had papaya personally myself. I read up on them, and that's that. I've been trying to get my hand on that. It's just the where we at. It's kind of hard to get that. Sorry, I missed the black seed. All I missed it. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. What should you use for balancing pH? Um, my detox uh for one because that's real good with that. But when it's coming out to balancing your pH, it's very personal. So I would say like watch what you're eating. Most times we're eating more acidic because all the pH balances for especially for women is like this. Your body is essentially telling you I'm tipping off of my balance. I'm not where I should be. So if you're starting to get smells and you're starting to get irritable and it's uncomfortable and then like you start to get candida and stuff down there, you way too much yeast, way too much um sugars, way too much processed food, way too much meat. You start eating berries, a whole bunch of melons, a whole bunch of citric acid fruits, a whole bunch of acai, like getting all the good natural stuff inside your system. Roses and honey. What about it? What about it? High cholesterol. What do you recommend? Sorry if I miss it. Now you good. I'm noticing this a lot of like it's saying 72 and 80, but like I'm noticing a lot of people coming in and out, in and out, in and out. So I don't mind repeating myself. Um, but for high cholesterol and stuff like that, I would say just for one, understand that it's not necessarily uh your body has a problem. It's more so your body's trying to heal you, heal itself, and we don't understand that. So when you have high cholesterol and stuff like that, nine times out of ten, you're eating things that have very sickly fats inside of them. So you need to cleanse. Fruit juices. Speaking of, I need to, man, I'm craving me some blueberry juice right now. I'm about to go grab, y'all give me a second. I need to go grab that real quick. I'm already up. Hmm? Oh, by the way, do I have to eat those? Yeah. <clears throat> My bad, y'all. This is like crack to me. Oh, I needed this. 32 ounces a day, y'all. And I just recycle my jars. I get like three 32 ounce uh, jars a day. I put in work. And that's the, essentially, that's good for your cholesterol. Berry juice, fruit juice, you know, start cleansing your arteries and stuff like that. That's all it is. Your arteries is having a hard time because they got all that plaque and build up in between it. And it's trying to push all of that out. So it causes cholesterol problem drinking beer root juice now beer i'll be saying beet i hope you're saying uh beet you just know yes i do but um or i go to fresh market the farmer's market and get it but um yeah your body's just trying to push it all out that's all it's trying to do so you just need to give it a fighting chance essentially and off all the people that have and i'm seeing a lot of people doing it y'all tap the screen and hit the share button because i'm seeing these numbers fly up and this stuff right yeah i'm glad you said beet you corrected yourself because I thought you were saying beer at first. I was like, I I'm going to just assume they meant beet because, look, you drinking beer and you just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I don't like about drinking out of the jar. It always gives me like a little berry, a berry stain on my nose, bro. I'll be looking. I'll be forgetting this right there. When you say juice, you mean fresh fruit juice, right? Yes. Press your own. Press your own. I go to a farmer's market and like, cause this is just like an old jar that I kept. I just took like the other, it was like some, uh, the other pasteurized blueberries I had to go get, but I just, just so I can know what it is. I take this cause it's not always the same thing in here. And I got me a little, I kept my 32 ounce. I just filled it up, pressed my own stuff. And I did like that. Thank y'all so much for the shares and the likes. I'm seeing it. Thank y'all so much. I'm just trying to get as many people in here as possible before I get off. And once again, if y'all want to, um, come on, come on the live. And request to come to live. Like I said, I'll let y'all in. We can have a talk. Uh, but like I said, here's the rules before. Don't get belligerent. 
Don't get racist. Don't talk crazy because I don't tolerate that type of stuff because I will kick you out in a heartbeat and you will get blocked. I don't have time and I don't have energy for that. We're about to go into the spring equinox. I'm not bringing that into the spring spring equinox at all. We're here to inform and help people. And we should drink 32 ounces of fruit juice a day. Yes, yeah, start off with that. Me personally, I drink three. I think I drink three of these a day. It may not necessarily be blueberry juice, even though it typically is blueberry juice. But at least three, at least three a day. I want to get a gallon or a gallon and a half of fruit juice in my system every day. I'm telling y'all the energy that you're going to get. Like, I don't really eat solids, like I like heavy food until like after 11, 12 o'clock. I will eat like a bunch of blueberries and drink a bunch of fruit juices before I even eat anything heavy. And like the, the energy and like the mental clarity and like the mood. And then when you're like, when you're in a house drinking and consuming that, then you step outside and you remember the, the vitamin D pheromones I was telling you about when the sun hits your skin, it just like... Like, it just, man, y'all just don't understand. Y'all just don't understand, boy. What about eye floaters and blurry eyesight? I used to suffer with that bad. You probably wasn't on here earlier when I was talking about my astigmatism and stuff like that when I uh, got rid of it. But, um, yeah, it's, it's annoying. It's I already know what you're talking about. It's annoying, but that, that helps with it. It's just little bacteria is not being where it's supposed to be. Sometimes it's microparasite. Sometimes it's not. But, like, you know, it is what it is. You can flush that out easy with juice. She said, dang, that's a lot of juice. No, that's not. No, that's not playing. That's not. This is like, y'all, if y'all sitting there drinking sodas and waters and stuff, you just the same thing. You just subbing it with this. That's all you're doing. Like, I can, I'm being modest because I have to talk to y'all. Normally, I would be smashed this by now. This would be done. Like, I'm already almost halfway through with it. But I'm, you know, I'm trying to talk to y'all. It's so good, y'all. It is so good. And I used to have chapped lips bad. Started doing that, cleaned out my, cause all chapter lists and, and dandruff is just uh, is digestive problems. Clean that, start clean that stuff out, and like the high you get off of it, like you just be floating for the day. You be feeling so good when it's time to be hype. You hype when it's time to be calm. You're calm, like your body is regulated. Can I buy the fruit and juice them for and juice them for us? Yeah, definitely. That's the I would prefer you to do that, but that's a lot of sugar. No, it's not. No, it is not. I I didn't explain this time and time again. Whenever okay, the sugars, okay. You have fructose, you have sucrose. Fructose, when digested and goes, and when it goes inside. Matter of fact, just so y'all don't think I'm capping. Where is that? Where is it at? Is it is it over here? I'm not going to grab it because that's going to take too long. Whenever the body is breaking down sugars, breaking down anything, it breaks it down to this molecular le level until it can't get broken down anymore, and then it digests it. Fruits. Literally share a complementary DNA structure to our body, plants in general. So the fructose that comes from that, the body knows exactly what to do with that. And it bypasses the glycemic digestive process that causes those spikes in blood sugar, that causes the energy levels and the insulin spikes and this, that, and the third. You find that more in vegetables. So whenever you start focusing more so on fruits, it detoxifies, it stabilizes, it balances the body, it enriches and does everything that it has to do. So whenever people are like, well, that's a lot of sugar and blah, 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 blah. No. Processed sugar is bad for you. Too much uh, glucose is bad for you when it comes down to like the vegetable fruits and stuff like that. The reason why they say everything with a balance, but you can never go wrong with too many fruits. That is two totally different molecular structures. That is two totally different digestive processes in the body. And that is two totally different uh, neuron receptors whenever the body comes down to receiving that type of stuff. Big misconception. Just like the protein myth. It's not protein, it's amino acids. I will die on that hill. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm, I've been doing this for years, y'all. I've been doing this for years. I've been revert. I literally reversed my grandmother's diabetes with fruit juices and bilberry. Like, come on, man. Come on. I feel that the combination of an apple, orange, and celery was like coffee. Yeah, because you got to think about it. You got the apple that's designed to hit you with all that fiber and that energy. And then you got the orange that's the citric acid. Even though you're not really supposed to mix it like that, but I, here's what happened. Then the orange is going to give you that energy and that nourishment and that hydration and that celery. It's kind of like an anti-metabolic uh, process because it takes more energy to digest celery than it does to actually um, consume it and gain nutrients from it. So it's like a big ball of metabolic fuel happening and then it hits your system and you just go crazy. Improve eyesight, eye bright. That's what I use to reverse my astigmatism, eye bright. So I have that herb inside of my uh, link in my bio. Man, this stuff is good. I agree with timing of eating solid foods. Definitely. Give your body a chance to wake up. It's okay to do it as smoothies versus juices. It's okay, but the process might take a little bit longer. 
because i mean you're gonna get borderline the same thing but like the body's still gonna digest it as a solid as opposed to a juice when it goes straight to the blood detox protocol and tea purchase thank you so much for sharing your knowledge god bless you and let me tell you something keep us updated i always tell to people keep us updated like be be formal with this like hey i purchased this this is what i'm going through any help hey i need help with blah 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 hey this is happening this is a great thank you for blah 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 like keep i don't care if it's good news bad news keep us updated because a lot of people just take stuff run with it don't know what to do they quit no it's okay to slip up but it's not okay to quit everybody slips up everybody slips up but not everybody should be quitting superfoods really boost your energy like a side like a side yeah definitely right about that the skin has me so my skin oh hey i ain't even gonna i'm not even gonna cap i'm not even gonna cap thank y'all for saying that and i get that compliment a lot but like i guess because i see my face every day I, there's still spots because i used to have like um dry spots right here right here right here on my nose and like little spots right here like i'm just being Ill. ever since i cleaned up my system now i can grow a beard before no like the patches are finally starting to fill in like everything else is starting to come down and all of that but like my skin was a mess so like when people say that i'm still kind of eh. but and even though i know my skin is better oh we broke 101 we had 102 people in the live yo this is the okay shout out to everybody that's up in here this is the most people i've had in the live ever big ups to y'all for all y'all that don't know who i am i'm coach brian get your fine thank y'all for tuning in hit that like button hit that share button thank y'all for being up in here it's lit but um yeah bro when i started doing fruit juice and stuff like that that really helped with my skin and like another thing i do um i love shea butter shea butter is really really good for my skin and, and aloe vera so you should try that too and teas y'all we had 110 people in this thing oh my god oh my god <laughs> it's because i started drinking that juice huh that's what it is y'all this is big for me i don't know about y'all this is big for me this is really big for me I'm trying to be a super superhero too, so I'm going to drink the fruit juice. Yeah, bro, you'll be surprised what that stuff do to you. That stuff will get you where you need to be. I'm trying to answer these questions. Hold up, y'all. I'm trying to answer these questions. Oh my god, y'all flooding me with the likes and the shares, y'all. Thank y'all so much. This is crazy. I'm trying not to get too, you know, because when I get hype, I get hype. I'm trying not to get too crazy. What are you drinking? I'm drinking blueberry juice, fresh pressed blueberry juice. I drink it all day, every day. I, this is a 32 ounce jar. I drink three of these a day. I drink like about a one and a half to two by 12 o'clock anyway. I'd be tearing things down. Man, look at the people that are in here. The beautiful people that are in here. Man, this is this is monumental. This is huge. Thank you all so much. He's drinking blueberry juice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, if y'all want to come on the live, like I said before, there's a lot of people up here. I know somebody want to go live. Got some questions to ask. Just like I said, just follow the rules. Don't get belligerent. Don't get racist. Don't get crazy. I don't tolerate that energy. We're going into the spring equinox. I'm not playing with that. You will get blocked. You will get kicked up out of here. I don't play that. I hear the problem with diabetics is the fact that they don't get enough sugar. I, I just said that. Thank you. Thank you for reiterating everything I just said. And that's it. That's essentially what it is. Y'all, look at the likes that's coming in here. Look at the shares. Oh, my God. Y'all are the best, bro. Y'all are the best for all the new people. My name is Coach Brian. I'm from Southern Louisiana. I just got. I feel like I got to reiterate myself. I got to reintroduce myself. I'm a holistic practitioner. I studied under Dr. Sabi, Dr. L the late Dr. Lyle Africa, his wife, Dr. Melanie Stevenson, Dr. Robert Morris, uh, Ginger DeClue, and y'all currently under uh, Yaki Awakening. I have a shop. Y'all can check the link in my bio. Detoxes, protocols, everything. You name it. Herbs, all that type of stuff. I'm trying to get everybody together. Go to coachbrian.com. You can see all my stuff. Okay, that's out the way. Y'all got me hyped. We at 121. This is crazy. This is crazy. Which is for the eyes. It's called Eye Bright. E-Y-E. Bright. Like bright sun. Like eye bright. What's good for eye floaters? Um, This. Fruit juices. Especially like berries. Fruit juice. And melons. Yes. I'm going to take me a sip while we at it. And make your own. That's what I do. Make your own. Man, we almost at 120. This is crazy. blowing. Y'all, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Y'all know me. When I'm normally on live, I don't be tracking the numbers, but it's blowing my mind. What's the best brand of eye to use? The one that's in the. Go to link in my bio. It's right there. Oh, Hearts and Roses coming through. Man, y'all are the best, bro. We at 120. Y'all about to make me cry. Don't be doing this to me. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Bro, this spring. That's how I know the spring equinox is about to hit. Look at all the blessings that's happening. If y'all was here on the last life we had, whenever I was talking about how to manifest and prepare for the, the spring equinox and cleanse your spirit and all that type of stuff, like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we don't, bro, this is crazy. I got, I'm sorry, I got to take a screenshot. This is amazing. This is amazing, y'all. Oh, my God. 
So many lives being touched. That's what I'm excited about. So many lives. Whatever are good for lupus. It depends. I'm gonna need you to uh message me or book like a consultation because it's it's kinda is is I wanna personalize it because certain people have lupus for different reasons. Certain people certain people have I put if you if you just want a general herb, I'll just say get you some burdock and get you some dandelion root. It's in the link in my bio. But like I would advise you to actually book a consultation with me so we can customize a per a, a, a lupus protocol for you. How long do it take to get your order? Order of, of what, what you're trying to get. All of the products that's in my shop, they're digital, unless you're getting some merchandise. But everything else is uh, digital, so it's an instant download. So check your, your spam folder too. Everything else that's um that's in the, the, the other links in my bio, like the urban stuff like that, is Amazon link. So just follow the shipping stuff and it'll it'll send it to y'all. What's good for calcium buildup and lymph uh lymphoma? I have a lymphatic protocol. But honestly, wet fasting. I don't know if I ever talked to y'all about wet fasting, but before I even say that, get lymphatic massages. Those are the things that really get you where you need to be. And you like start getting all that lactic acid and that calcium deposit. That's just been like for me, um, before I had to get like my posture was horrible. I had to get all that realigned and to get work on my muscle imbalances. But like when I was getting a lymphatic massage and like she had my arm up and she was going inside my cervix joints and stuff like that, I could have hear it like like cracking. And not that she was breaking nothing, but like all of the calcium deposits and the citric acid that had hardened from like me just like working out so much and not stretching, probably being lazy, you know, like it just built up and I wasn't using my muscle gun. I was stretching and getting it out. And like, I could have feel it like my range of motion came back and you're going to pee it out, but, um, do a wet fast only fruit juices for about two or three days are just fruit juices and, um, and fruits do my raw food protocol. Like it's in the link in my bio, get my raw food protocol and that'll clear you up in no time. I see the hard eyes. Hey, love. Thanks for the roses. I know, right? Like, though, it's crazy. We was at 120. Like, this is the most people we've had in live ever. This is crazy. And for all y'all that don't know, the link is in my bio. The link is really... I wish I had my other my other technology so I could text... There's something I want to tell the Chelsea that I can't say on here. That I, I want to... This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm I'm excited, y'all. This is crazy. But for all new people, go go to my shop. Check out the, uh, the detox and check out everything. Arthritis. I have an arthritis protocol. I have one. You can go to my shop and get it. It'll, it'll, oh, excuse me. It'll help you out tremendously. That went down the wrong way. <laughs> I've been taking screenshots. Please send them to me. Please send them to me. This is crazy. We have 123. This is crazy. You dropping gems. Thank you. Nothing but peace and love. I'm trying to heal, bro. I ask God every day to give me some downloads. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. I said it before and I'll say it again. I know you knew, so I'll just reiterate. High blood pressure is essentially your body trying to tell you that I have too much of the bad junk up in here and I'm going to constrict as much as possible to get the bad quality blood out of the way while someone trying to get some new blood in. So it's just overproduction of blood because it's trying to, being that you have so much bad quality, and it's not because, oh, my body's producing bad things. You're just eating the wrong stuff. That's all it is. So with that being said, your body's trying to overcompensate. So the body's trying to produce a lot more blood cells to go in and then everything gets all tight and it's trying to constrict it and try to squeeze out the good ones. So you just got to pull back on probably the meats and the processed sugars and the gunk and the junk food, the, the breads, the yeast, all that type of stuff that forms all the gunk, pull off of that. I know not everybody can go plant-based and vegan, so that's fine. Pull back off of that for a little while and then you can go back to it later, but like fruits, fruits is the way to go. Fruit juices, uh, whole fruits, like get full off of fruits. Nothing is wrong with that. Especially if you have high blood pressure, you need to do that. And then you'll be good. I hear you, mama. You're all right. You just came from outside. My little puppy. Is intermittent fasting good for the body? It's not bad. It's just that it depends on what you're doing it for. Like a lot of people are running with the lose weight, fat stuff with intermediate fast and stuff like that and essentially you're just depriving yourself and when you're going to start eating back regularly you're going to gain all that weight back if you're going to fast fast with the purpose and fast the right way if you're going to intermittent fast and you're not going to eat when you break your fast break your fast with fruits with fruit juices with vegetables you know with organic things don't go back to all of the gunk because you just starved your body your body went into a fast mode your body started producing stem cells your body started going into a state that requires it to start eating on everything else and then you fill it with junk and it's, it, it's, it's, it's just chewing, so it's going to poop. It's going to grab it, and you're going to puff right back up. It's, it's like, that's just not how it works. I think Cosmo needs to go outside. All right, or maybe she just want to be by me. I don't know. Probably both are, both is fine. If she if she just used the bathroom, if she don't use the bathroom, you can let her, you can let them out. Oh, well, I need to take a nap. That's 
talking to me in front of the phone. What's the topic? If we don't really have a topic right now. We're just talking, spreading love. Oh, somebody just sent this crazy big heart thing. It took over. I don't know if y'all saw it, but it took over the screen. That's dope. I love y'all so much, y'all. We broke 120 in the live. This is crazy. This is blowing my mind. The topic is, I'll say the overall topic is detoxification and why you should go to the link in my bio and get the detox. That's that's what you should do. You should go to coachbrian.com and get you the five out of 10 day detox. That's the topic. Body brushing is great for improving lymphatic flow. It is, but I also will say this. Do not brush towards the heart. I know they're going to tell y'all brush towards the heart and blah, 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 blah. That does not make sense. If it's to improve lymphatic flow, what is the lymphatic system? It's the septic tank of the body. Y'all, this is not a zit. See, that's what I was talking about. That berry juice that be on my nose when I drink out that thing. Don't think that's a zit. But um, it's, it's, if, you, if your body, if your lymphatic system is the septic system of the body, where all the waste goes and has to travel and it dumps into the stomach, we should not be brushing to our heart because you're pushing lymphatic waste through the valve. The heart is just a valve and you're pushing gunk in there, making it harder for it to work, probably bringing on way more diseases than should be in there. You brush away. Look, brush downward, brush in your circles, brush down, brush away, brush towards the extremities, brush towards your kidneys. It's because your kidneys is the filtration process. Brush towards your kidneys and brush down to where all that stuff can come out and you can use the bathroom. She use the bathroom? Yeah, she Okay. If not, you're just gonna you're just pushing gunk to your heart. Don't don't ever do that. I need that lymphatic. You can either get my lymphatic protocol or the detox is gonna work. What's good for high blood pressure? We just talked about that. Were you in here for that? Or am I just getting to that comment late? It's a blessing finding you. Yeah, everybody that's up in here, please hit that follow button. We go live a lot. We're about to start a manifestation series. The spring uh equinox is coming. It's about to be here. Another that big old thing. How do y'all do that? What is that? Is I don't know if y'all can see this taking over the screen. But um the spring equinox is coming. That means you we, we're gonna have a big open heaven for blessings, a big open heaven for changes, a big open heaven for everything. And my birthday is literally the month after it starts, and I'm so excited because I'm knowing it's about to go down. But I'm trying to tell y'all, like, stay tuned, like put y'all live notifications on, follow me because we're gonna be talking about manifestation, we're gonna be talking about cleansing, we're gonna be talking about everything. We got new products coming, we got it's it's about to it's just about to boom, y'all. Everything is about to take off. It's about to take off. Y'all have to stay tapped in and tuned in because I'm going to give y'all as much as God gives me. That's my job. As much as I get and get downloaded, I'm going to give to y'all. I'm doing immense amounts of studying, immense amounts of practicing, immense amounts of experimentation. Reasons why I haven't really been on here as much as as much as I want to, but it's, I'm about to get back on it. Like I've been in that hyperbolic time chamber and I'm coming out for y'all. I'm coming out for everybody. Like it's getting real. Oh, these comments is rolling in. Jesus Christ. Chelsea, do remind me when my next consultation is. I believe it's at 2.30, if I'm not mistaken. And I still got to finish making her other charts. What about my last, which needs no bone on bone? Needs. I mean, you can let her out. Just close the studio door. I'm pretty sure she just want to be right here anyway. She's making all that noise. Yup, here they come. Hey, my loves. Hey, my loves. Y'all big cells. I have these big golden doodles, y'all. Down, girls. Let's see. Come on. Bone on bone knees. <laughs> These something else. Get the detox, everyone. Yeah, listen to Moonbeam. Moonbeam was one of the people that actually did the uh that did the detox and like she did it recently and she I would I wish she can go live because I wanted her to go live um on the live request, but it wasn't like try try again. Oh the content is tomorrow, okay. I thought it was today for whatever reason. Try the um Moonbeam if you want to try the live request one more time. Yeah, bring yeah, yeah, I know. I'm almost done. I'm actually almost done with a lot of those. Do you want them to? As long as they chill out, I, mean, I don't mind. Okay. If they cutting up, they gonna go over there. Okay. She just wanna be by me. Okay. She been real affectionately. I think she about to be in heat. That's why. Yeah. Dang, I'm still not seeing the request. Oh well. What can I do to get my hair to grow back? Um, that's typically you have too many acids inside of your body. So I would say do my detox and then also follow up with like Jamaican castor oil, um, with peppermint uh oil. What is that in your paw? Peppermint oil, um, tea tree oil, grapeseed oil, and mix all that stuff together and start putting that in there. And then also aloe vera, like really cleanse all that stuff out. You know, it's really, whenever we start losing hair and stuff like that, like granted it is, you know, we have imbalances and stuff like that, but we really need to just be mindful of the things that we're eating and how we're cleansing ourselves. Because if not, because like prime example, my grandmother had like uh, spots and all this, she was losing her hair, cleansed out, reversed her diabetes and stuff like that. Now her hair is growing. You know, I had family members who had like alopecia and stuff like that. We started cleaning out their adren adrenals, start cleaning out their lymphatic system, start cleaning out all that other stuff. And then now they're back to where they need to be. The hair it may not be in long locks right now like mine is, but it's like, like prime example, 
I, I cleaned out my grandfather. He was in, um, yeah, you know, he had cancer and stuff like that. And his hair is longer than mine. You know, his hair, like, cause my hair is like way down here when I comb it out. It's like way down there. His hair is longer than mine. He cut his hair, you know, his hair started falling out because of the chemo, but we, you know, we got them together. We started doing everything else. And then now his hair is growing. It's back to where it was. Like, that's one thing about both sides of my family, uh, especially on my dad's side, your hair will grow. But it's like, you know, we got some people that got some medical problems, so they start losing their hair and stuff like that. But it's always reversible. What can I do to get? Oh, I just answered that. Please inform people that they need to check the water in their home and the bottle. Y'all shouldn't be drinking water out of the bottle to begin with. That's why I tell people to get distilled water or actual spring water and transfer it into a mason jar or just put it in something that's not plastic. Because, like, all the alkaline tests and stuff that they got going on, yeah, that's cool. That'll help you out. But at the end of the day, you need the purest form of water. That's why I'm so pro distilled water mixed with chlorophyll because the distillation process is one blanket blank. I don't want to get shadow banned of a process. It's really going to help you out. You know, it's, oh, that's Lonnie. He's my cousin. It's Lonnie. And um, it's really going to get you to where you need to be because like the distillation process takes the, the, the impure water. It's an aluminum uh, cylindrical, uh, it's an aluminum cylinder. There's a tight pressure tube that springs from the top and goes into the parallel one, right? They boil it, boil it, boil it. All the impurities stay at the bottom because of the pressure, the way they designed the, the tank to be pressurized. All the impurities stay at the bottom and then all the good uh, water turn transfers into steam, goes into the tube, goes into the next one and it's collected. Kind of like rainwater. Well, kind of like the way they collect rainwater. And then you have such a pure form. Granted, it's a little strip, but a pure form. Because unless you go and get water from the melted glaciers or you got like a natural fall or whatever in, in your backyard or something like that. I mean, we all drink in some form of impure water. That's why I said get as close as you can. Like for whenever, like think about the people that was, that was, um, that had like all the lead and stuff in there. They had to boil their water time and time again. That's a small version of distilling the water. So why not get the water that's already distilled and consume it like that? All you're doing is mixing it like, oh, it pulls minerals and blah, 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 blah. Mix it with some chlorophyll. So now you're enriching the purified water on top of that and you're getting a detoxification process. It doesn't get any better. I'll be trying to tell y'all, it's like, it's free game. Like it don't get any better than that. So we brush to the kidneys, I threw. Yeah, you brush to your kidneys, don't brush to your heart. If you're talking about dry brushing, don't brush to your heart. You brush to your heart, you, you have some problems. This stuff is so good. What do you mean brush? I'm talking about dry brushing. Sound I'm pretty, oh, I'm pretty? Thank you. I've been working on it, I get it from my mama. Yes, tag me on the manifestations. I'm telling you, just, uh, just go to the, um, just hit the, first of all, follow me. But put your live notifications on. Like whenever I'm telling you, this spring equinox is about to hit. And when that bad mama jamma hit, let me tell y'all something. Y'all gonna be getting if y'all been if y'all truly prepared yourself for it and y'all started sowing, even if y'all start just start sowing seeds now. I've been preparing for this since last March. But like the blessings, the freedom, the deliver like the stuff that's about to happen, y'all better get ready. The spiritual realm is about to be on like not bad fire, but good fire. Like we about to go into a rebirth. Hey mama. You're being intrusive right now. I don't like that. You know you're better than that. Stop being like that. Sit down. All the detox, but I haven't gotten it. It's a digital uh, product, so check your spam folder and check every uh and check your emails too. If it's not in there, please uh send us an email so we can get you all tightened up with. You want to send us your uh oh, excuse me your uh confirmation and your full name and your uh your email address as well. <clears throat> what are y'all doing? Chill out. She got me burping. She got me all excited. Should I start my cleanse after mommy feeding? Because I don't. Yeah, do not, do not, do not detox while breastfeeding. Do not. Because the herb that you have to take while you're doing it, uh, especially an infant, their stomach cannot take that. Whatever you're eating is going to go into the milk and is going to go into the child. So there's one particular herb that you're going to be taking during the detox period. And if you're going to be uh, breastfeeding, you do that, that child is going, whoo, that child going to have a hard time. A real hard time. How do you cut on live notifications? You go to my page. First of all, follow my page. When you go to my page and you should see like a little bell at the top right. It's going to say uh, live notifications. Just hit uh, get all. What about gout? Gout is the same thing. It's just cellular crystal. It's crystallized cellular waste. The same way you would cure candida and arthritis. The same way you would kind of go for gout. It's a little bit different. But like I said before, y'all, detox. You got to give you, you got to reset. And look, like I said before, because I know there's a lot of new people up in here. Also, the angel number is 111. Uh, somebody put that in the comment section what the definition of 111 is. That's for somebody. That just came to me. So 111, I need y'all to comment what that angel number means inside the, uh, the comment section, please, as I continue. But, um, what I was about to say. Oh, yeah. So for with gout, whenever it comes down to gout, 
it's just crystallized waste, cellular waste. It's a little bit of bacterial fungus. So what you should do is ultimately start soaking your feet too. Start soaking your feet, clean your feet out, and then making sure that you're flushing the, the filtration organs like the kidneys, the lymphatic system, the spleen, the stomach, stuff like that. Get away from the processed food. Get away, especially from yeast and bready stuff, because you're just making it worse. So just focus on the fruits, cucumbers without the skin, green apples, citric fruits, orange, uh, oranges, uh, acai berries, strawberries, blueberries, stuff like that. Do you have a liquid version? God, Jesus Christ, these comments coming in. Where we at? 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 I got to scroll back up. I'm sorry, y'all. I just lost a comment. God dang. Wait, hold up. I got to scroll back up, y'all. I'm sorry. It's a bunch of comments just came in. Do you have liquid versions of Bilberry that you can add to the bio? I hate pills. I can, I can add one. I can add one. I believe that same brand actually makes the powder. Cause it's not that it's going. They're going. I don't know if they have a tincture for it. I haven't looked, but I'm pretty sure they might have one. But there's also a powder that you can put into the water. Here, I just want to clean my stomach out without losing weight. Will your seventy seven to ten day detox help? Definitely. TikTok said I was mentioned. Don't play with my feelings. His fine self. Yeah, I'm getting a. I'm getting a whole bunch of compliments today. I'm not used to that, but thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. I think the consultation is tomorrow. Okay. Scent perfume. What does that do? Y'all trying to tell me I stink or something? Do y'all have any packages for thyroid conditions? Yes, we do. Um, it's a thyroid protocol that's inside the uh the link in my bio. But just do the the seven or ten day detox. It works just the same, if not better. The thyroid protocol is more so to keep it regulated after the detox and stuff like that. And now, granted, you can heal it. But if you really want to jumpstart it, do the detox and then get into that. She said, they, what does the perfume mean? I don't know what the perfume means. Is it just like another thing? I don't, I don't know what it means. It was good for weight maintenance, post-surgery on bed rest. Um, fruits. Fruits. You want to eat something with a very small caloric amount, well, caloric count, but high in nutrients. So a lot of melons, a lot of um, a lot of gra seeded grapes, a lot of berries, a lot of... Um, I mean, you can, you can do spelt and stuff like that and oats if you want to. But like really just stick with the berries and, and stick with the um the fruits. Can you pull me in? It won't let me request. No, I tried, and that's the thing. I, I've been trying since the last time. It's not letting me do it. And I son, if Moonbeam was to get up in here, y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all it'll be lit. Her story is crazy. Her like she has such a good detox story. And it's not letting us do it for whatever reason. I don't know why. What do you use to press your juices? Um, for all the people that have a juicer, you already know you just get a juicer, you press it through, it's going to automatically do it. But for the people that don't, you can just put your blueberries and stuff like that, or your fruits inside of a blender. You get your strainer or you can get you a, um, if you or you can get you a, um, a cheesecloth or I, I actually read like a, a nut milk cloth sack. I mean, you put it in there and you squeeze it out and you'll get all the juices out of it. Pumpkin seed oil. What about it, my love? The one he recommends is his bio. Olive oil and coconut oil works wonders for my locks. Tell me more about that. Because, I mean, I, I use some of that, too. I use, more, I use like, shea butter, uh, coconut oil, Jamaican castor uh, oil, and peppermint oil. I use peppermint oil, uh, tea tree oil, and grapeseed oil, but, like, sparingly in certain combinations. That's just the list of stuff I play with, but, like, not all at the same time. I don't want y'all putting all that in at the same time. Hey, handsome. Hey. Let me see. You're welcome. What about purified water? No, no. I'm not even gonna go into these about that. The list goes on and on. Big no. So I saw my cleanse after mommy feeding. It won't let me say the original word. I I think I read your comment earlier. Yeah, don't do that after you finish breastfeeding. Check coach's Amazon storefront. It has everything you need for hair growth. It definitely does. So boil the water from the sink. It depends on what you're trying to do. But yeah, if you want to do it like that, or you could just get um distilled water. Acid reflux. Acid reflux is essentially what it sounds like. Your body is having a hard time regulating your stomach acids and other acids that's within the body, which is a slight form, of, slight form of acidosis, which your digestive tract is inflamed. So you need to balance it out. So more fruits, less meats, less. And some, and I would. Some people say that like breads and and bready things work, and it kind of does, but it's really like a alleviation type thing because it's just soaking it up a little bit, but then it has to redisperse. So when it gets broken down to the molecular structure after it didn't compact it, guess what? It just explodes right back up. So just start hydrating, and you need to you, that your kidneys need to start filtrating. So make sure that you're tearing out a whole bunch of berries, 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 berries. What do you see? What are you drinking? Blueberry juice. Got to have my blueberry juice. 
it's making me burp because <laughs> I haven't eaten eaten yet and my body normally I've eaten heavy by now so like my body kind of wants to eat a little bit more so burping for me kind of just it doesn't mean the same thing as it does for y'all my body's a little weird are there weight loss products there definitely my try my detox hypothyroidism I have a thyroid protocol in the link in my bio but hypothyroidism is essentially that your thyroids are underworking they're not I don't I wouldn't say they're degenerative because you wouldn't be probably be able to shoot that text message if they were but they're underworking so you need to get them back on back online back on the system so you can get my thyroid protocol and um you can get the seven or ten day detox my bad y'all something popped up I had to read that but y'all be answering quick. They're like, what you drinking, everybody? Berry juice, blueberry juice. Yeah, y'all been up in here. How do we prepare for the spring equinox? Come into the next live and I'll tell you. I, let me explain what the spring equinox is before I even dive into that. So essentially, the spring equinox is the real new year. It, let's just think about it logically. Before we just talk about like what's a pagan holiday and blah, 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 and spirits and blah, 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 blah. Why would we bring in the new year when things are desolate? Things are dying in the winter. Things are dying. We have the highest suicide rates, the highest death rates. No, no seed and no fruit, no vegetables are being born. Like everything is just, it's just trying to survive. Spring is when things come to life. Springtime is when things are born. Spring is when things transition, when things come back into fruition. When the sun is here, the clouds are moved away. The heat is back. The vegetation is back. The plants and the the, every, the birds are all chirping. The bugs are back. The kingdoms are, are operating and, func and functioning properly. The spiritual world and the gates are crazy open. Why would we bring the new year in on January 1st? That makes zero sense. So the spring equinox actually starts in March. That's when the real 2022 starts. Because if y'all notice... They're like, oh, the new year started and stuff got bad and blah, 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 blah. If y'all, people was to just really think like, yeah, things are dying off and getting bad because it's the end of that particular year. So January 1st up until the spring equinox is still technically, we still technically in 2021. It's just the death is like when things are dying off, like the winter part. So things are going to be chaotic and corruptive until we get until the real spring equinox. And then watch when y'all, if we all have been meditating, if y'all caught my last live and when I was dissecting auras and colors, how to meditate, how to manifest, and all, how to sleep and all that type of stuff. When y'all dive into the spring equinox next month, it's going to be crazy. I can't, I don't, I don't even know how to put it. Like the stuff that we're going to be walking into, the financial blessings, the financial freedom, the, the, the spiritual freedom, like... The spiritual realm is going to be so potent. People are going to be thinking stuff and it's going to start happening. If you really tap in, you're going to think it and it's going to happen. It already started for me, you know, because I've been preparing for this for a while. It, it didn't already started for me. If you're somebody that's been tapped in, you already know. Like if you if you align with it already, like it's it's happening, you know, and it's a, it's a very small spurt. Like I had a friend we had a talk last night. I ain't going to go too far into her details, but she works in dreams and she was telling me about this dream and the messages and the signals and blah, 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 blah. And not even the next day it happened. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, we are so close to this. Just catch the next live. <laughs> and I, you know what? I should make some posts about it, too. I'm, I'm going to make some posts about it. One, one, one. She reminded me. Nobody uh, nobody actually put that in the comment section. Y'all all failed the test. See, that, that could have been y'all blessing. That could have been y'all blessing. Quick question. What's your question, my love? Hold up, all of this, hold up, wait, all this stuff is coming up out of nowhere. Uh, wait, 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 I gotta scroll back up. Man, he's a lot, it's like 30 something plus messages that just came through. I'm sorry, I gotta scroll back up. Da, 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 da. Whoever keeps sending that, that heart that's taking over the screen, I love you so much. That is so beautiful. Are you vegan? Negative. I am, uh, I am 80-20. 80 20 right now before this when the summer comes i'm going back to plant base well 100 percent plant base i'm 80 percent right now if the what is the god wait what what if the god is in your hand do you soak your hand yeah so what you should do is like like you notice how people be cracking and stuff like that with all that extra air that's just extra air and calcium in there so you would just put your hand in like some i would say get some peppermint um you get to get some peppermint oil and put it in there and soak your hand in there or you can get you some uh what was the other thing you can get you some uh is it ginger capsules or is it alfalfa capsules? I forgot. But essentially, hot water with that, you soak it in there. But ultimately, it's really about what you eat. You can soak it as much as you want to and loosen that stuff up. It still has to break up and be passed and processed. So you got to just eat the fruits. I keep hitting this dog on tripod with my foot. I've, I've been... Wait, what? I've been doing that lately. I have MS. I hope it's been helping. I don't know what you're referring to. 
Are your friends with Becoming Blessing here on TikTok? I am. She is so amazing. I actually did a live with her and we did a video. Actually, we did a live together in this on my YouTube. Y'all can go to Coach Brian on uh on YouTube. I can go to click the link in my bio and scroll to the bottom. We uh we did a live together. She is so amazing, y'all. Weight loss. Uh, what about it? Fat loss. What about it? We talked about subcontaneous and visceral fat earlier. How often should you detox as much as needed? I I haven't been. I, I normally I don't eat on Wednesdays. I normally fast on Wednesdays, but spiritually things have been moving and like i haven't been feeling the need to do that because i've ascended a little bit past that and i need to i feel like the fast i'm gonna be doing is more of a spiritual fast coming up soon to prepare for the spring but and i might i might do like a like probably like a week or like four days of just like probably doing my uh my wet food protocol raw, raw food protocol before we go into spring equinox it just depends on what god tells me to do but like i've, I've ascended to a place spiritually with all the stuff i've been doing to where it's like bro it's crazy. It's, it's crazy what's been coming. What does 222 all mean? It depends. I don't... I don't oh, somebody put it. Okay, the angel number 111, meaning... Well, not... I just need three ones. So I don't know if it's the same if it's four ones, but I'm going to still read it. The angel number 1111, meaning it's a reminder that we are all one, all interconnected. It is also a... And it just stopped. But interconnected. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I ain't gonna say what it's so bro, it's so many stuff. There's so much stuff going on in my head right now. It's also a call to action. Ask you to align your thoughts and actions with your highest good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the mini speaker. Wait, what? Minis, hold up. You are manifesting your thoughts, so keep them positive. To make your own juices, you can also use a strainer. That too. Your eyes are so pretty. These are. These eyes. Thank you so much. Again, for my dad. Y'all think my eyes look good? My dad has the most, the deepest, brownest eyes you will ever see. My dad's eyes are brown. Like, like, strong brown. And that's that doggone his sub Saharan he got in his system. And they're Haitian. Is it Haitian? No, it's not Haitian. Can I buy the detox from Amazon? No, it's something that I made. It's on our shop. You have to go to our website. I've been getting 333 lately. It's a sign of spiritual protection. Dog on right, because I've been praying for y'all every day. Being surrounded by ancestors, spiritual masters. I had gastritis from high a year ago. Took the meds, but still have symptoms. Any suggestions? Should do my uh you should do my detox. Gastritis is basically I mean, you know what it is. You have you have it. But essentially your uh what they don't tell you is okay, so we have like these bristles, right? When you think about the lining of your intestinal wall and stuff like that, you got these bristles that do this all day. They, whenever food is up going there, they're pushing acids, they're pushing waste, they're pushing everything. You start getting gastritis and stuff like that, your acid levels are off and your, your intestinal walls are starting to harden a little bit, so they get stiff. Contractions are getting weaker, or they're getting so strong, but they can't move because things aren't operating, so you need to loosen it up, you need to cleanse it out. My detox is going to do that, or my raw food protocol is going to do that for you. It's going to enrich that system up again and get things moving. And then it's going to get that medicine out your system too, because your liver probably then got hit with some of that stuff. And you can also get a dandelion root or milk thistle, which is also in the link in my bio. I see everywhere I go, I'm connected to 1111. That's good. I heard pumpkin seed oil helps tighten up the skin and hair growth. Is it true? Definitely. I had a lady, I actually learned this about two or three years ago. There was a lady that I, uh, I was talking to. We're well, not dating, but like, you know, just talk, conversing with. And um, her boobs were like, really, like she's a, she's a, she's a shapely woman. I'll say that. She looks good. She's not, she's not like uh, disproportionate. She's very beautiful. But you know, she, she has a lot in the front. And she started using it and stuff like that. So I started researching it. And apparently, especially fresh out of a hot bath or a hot shower, whenever you rub pumpkin seed all upward against uh against gravity and stuff like that, and like it tightens up all of the muscles and start doing chest exercise too. But it tightens up the muscles and it also lifts the breast. And then you start putting it in that or some shea butter, start putting that on your uh your stretch marks, stuff like that, it'll clear all that up. And yes, it's really good for hair growth too. The um, amino acid that's in it helps. If you cut meat out or protein, what recommendations do you have for good protein? It's, it's all about amino acids. It's all about amino acids. We got nuts. We got fruits. We got vegetables. We got whole grains. We got, it's, it's so, you can eat so much stuff and get so many amino acids from just plants. Like, you'd be surprised. It's just, it's more so that the stomach isn't able, being that the stomach has been eating meat for so long, it has to break through the putrefied flesh and cellular wall. It has to break through the acid. It has to break through all of that just to get to the molecular structure that's in there to get some form of amino acid that's inside the meats. So the body can't absorb nutrients properly because it has to work too hard. It cleans out the stomach, you do a detox, and then you start eating properly. Look at Ter Terre Washington, T-O-R-R-E -R -R -E Washington. He's a plant-based 
bodybuilder, been doing that for like 30 plus years and it's Jack. He's an IFB pro at that, bodybuilding pro. Then here, bald, bald spots. The same oils I was talking about before. Tea tree, uh, peppermint. Well, actually, if you got bald spots and thin and it's thin, I would just say grapeseed and tea tree for right now with a little bit of Jamaican castor. I'm about to get off this thing too, by the way, y'all. It's getting, we've been, I'm starting to get brain foggy. It's a lot. I'm recalling a lot of stuff. Do you, does your detox program have you starving? No, not at all. A lot of people really don't have a crazy big appetite when they're detoxing because the cellular waste and the mucoroplast starts to move. So your body isn't really hungry because now your body has a clear signal that it's time to expel. So it's going to start pushing, 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 pushing. So you'll be good. I use H2O, coconut oil, and olive oil. I use them all separately. I do not bottle them all together. That's another good way to do it. Cause I mean, water and oil doesn't mix anyway, so it's not a bad thing that you're doing that. My locks are super healthy and long. I'm trying to catch up. I've been, I, lo I locked my hair. I've been growing my hair for like a while, but I locked my hair about a month ago. So well, I started the process like a month ago and my hair is like growing like crazy. It's like the moment I locked it, it started growing even more. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for being here. Man, I'd be trying to find some grapefruits for my detox every store I went to. They either don't have it. Just do you, if you can't find a grapefruit, sub it with a cousin. Find another melon or find another citric, uh, citric fruit. You'll be fine. Okay, I'm about to scroll up. All right. Put on my back. Yes, you can. I was on shop. Do I do the? I was on the shop. Do I do the detox for seven ten day or HPB? Do the detox and then do the high blood pressure protocol. Thank y'all for the rose and for the finger heart. Everyone invests. Okay, I'm starting to see a lot of the same thing. A lot of compliments. Thank y'all so much. Does your detox help get rid of mucoplex? Like, it definitely specializes in that. What about grapefruit? I missed it. I was like, if you, for the detox that we're doing, if you can't get the grapefruit, if you can't find it, get a cousin fruit, get a, a cousin citrus fruit or a melon and you'll be fine. Champagne said, hi, hey, what's happening? What's happening? Sorry, I walked away. How often should I do the detox with the info from you? The one that you, it's, you can reuse it, but I would say do the detox, give yourself like a week, you know, to do like a raw food protocol and like really cleanse out your system. Don't go back to eating junk food on crazy meat, all the heavy amounts of meat. And then you do the detox again. But y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting up, uh, my throat's starting to get a little dry from all this talking. And I'm getting a little brain foggy. I need, I, I don't take naps, but I need to lay down. I know I, need, I feel myself needing to lay down because I still got to go back and finish editing all these videos and stuff like that. So I'm sorry, y'all. I have to call it. I have to call it. I thank y'all so much. Y'all, for everybody that attended, we got to like 120 some people in the live. This is phenomenal. This is crazy. Thank y'all so much for the support. Y'all continue to hit that li that like button. Continue to um continue to to follow me. Hit that follow button. Any other questions y'all have? Slide in my DMs. Please slide in my DMs. Like it, we respond, y'all. We get to y'all. It may not be the same day, but we respond. Book a consultation. You know what I'm saying? Like I we can we can talk all day. Like y'all know me. For all the people that that did, did the consultations and y'all in here, y'all know me. We be talking all day. You know. So and I got some other stuff I got to prepare for too. Plus I have rehearsal. I got music. So I'm just I'm a busy person. But I, I make time for as many people as I can per day. So I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I thank y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. Y'all, we thank y'all for keeping me going. Because I, I'm not going to lie. There's moments where I, I ain't going to say I don't want to do it. But like, I'm not a social media person. I'm not a in the media type of person. I, I just like to be, you know, help who I can get out of the way. I don't like the fame and stuff like that. But like, man, y'all have been inspiring me. The questions and like the conversations, the random blessings, like y'all are amazing. Thank y'all for letting me heal y'all. Thank y'all for letting me come into y'all lives and consult. Thank y'all for believing in me and trusting me. Um, and it's, it's just a it's a blessing, man. It's it's a real blessing. And also, um, before I get off here, I'm just explaining a few things that we have in the shop. Um, it's ten percent off of all the orders of that's a hundred dollars or more. You type in the code Coach Brian in my shop, and you automatically get a ten percent discount on any sale or any or not any sale any product or any order in general that's a hundred dollars or more. Y'all, please get the detox. The detox is was really getting everybody the results. I mean, you can get the protocols and everything else; they work just as well. But that detox is the that's the thing that I personally took the time and went through and personally took the time to like just make just the, the most elite product. So y'all definitely invest in yourself. Health is wealth. It is well worth every dollar spent. I love y'all. Y'all continue to hit that follow button, continue to hit that share. I think we got up to like 43 shares up in here. We got like 29.3 thousand likes. Like this is crazy. I've never had this before. 
it can be overwhelming, but I love it at the same time. I appreciate all of you. I thank you so much for supporting. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all so much for trusting me. Y'all are some beautiful people. Every time I check in on y'all and talk to y'all, y'all have beautiful souls. Y'all have beautiful minds. Y'all want to learn. Y'all trying to heal. And everything that y'all have, it's a lifestyle change I'm giving y'all. Spread it to y'all family. Spread it to y'all community. Share me. Share everything. Like, I love y'all, bro. Let's prepare for this spring equinox. Start getting y'all spirits aligned. Start getting y'all bodies aligned. Feel free to reach out. And... Other than that, I love y'all and thank y'all so much for the support. I'm logging off. I got to go. I have to go rest for a little while, y'all. I'm a little burnt. But peace and love. I'm going to give it a little countdown.